Okay, hang on one second, and I'm just going to go to the live dashboard. It's an exciting night. So we're going to do the, um, if we have Scooter and Caroline, well, I know we'll have Scooter, <laughs> and Caroline Connor, um, she's been emailing, uh, texting about the pickup for the squirrel, because the vet said I can have it. And um, we got the cage out today and we just washed it. I'm gonna put, um, I'm getting it all new, uh, you know, the dowly things <laughs> and the hammocks and the wheel. So I was gonna order it, but then I said, well, if I gotta pick it up shortly, Jimmy's like all chomping at the bit to go. Um, I don't know, you know, then I'd probably just go to a PetSmart or something and get it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? What's the matter? What's wrong? What'd you do? For me? Yeah. Uh, I, was trying to, I was trying to set it up to get to get do an extra rinse out there. Extra rinse? Out. Okay. Got, that's all. All right. Hi, whisper to me. Simmer down now. Simmer down right now. No, that's someone in the chat. Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Flower Girl. Anna Nelson. How are you doing? To Scooter, you thought you were first. We've got to talk about the flying squirrel, Scooter. Scooter, Buffalo is where Dave lives, right? So that wouldn't be where you were driving with, Car if you were driving with Caroline, you wouldn't be coming from Buffalo. Jimmy was trying to figure out how many. Katie Cat, manager of Three Monsters. Hey, Mona. You love me? Love you too, Mona. Let's see, um, Nora, manager, Carol Clark, Patch, Dana, Nana, Dana, Nana, Dana, Nana, Nana, Nana. Oh, that's funny, Batman. Okay, that that must have never happened before. Dana, Nana, Nana, Nana. Now, now I'm not gonna be able to stop that. I can't look at you two on top of each other like that. Okay. Um, Nora Woods, who I got in front Julianne Gonzalez, hello there, Lori Stark. Um, I told Jimmy that you, you wanted to keep it for yourself. Crystal, Carol A, Karen H, hey there. All right, let me share this out because I know that YouTube is not going to put any um, notifications out because this is the fourth video of the day. And if Jimmy had done the turtle tank as he was supposed to, it would be the fifth video of the day. Oh, but is your other house, your house, closer to me or further away? Do you know that at least? Da -na 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 -na. No, Batman, it was the Batman one, see? Because it was Dana and you were above Nana. So is it Dana, Nana, -na -na? Get it? Got it? Hi, Kathy Martinez. Dreaming. Delphine. Carolyn's back. You must have got, yes, I did get some sleep today. Not a lot of sleep, but like, if I get five hours, I'm like, wow. I only had two hours of sleep yesterday. That's why I literally had to just lie back and just rest my eyes for a second. You don't know? Hmm. I'll see if Dave knows. Okay, you see if Dave knows. So, um, I did put up... Hi, Open Minds. How are you? Oh, I want to put this out for poor Carol Boyce. Carol Boyce picked up my doll today, and it's another thing I have to talk about. So we have things we want to talk about. I don't know. Carol Boyce <laughs> said that um, she was like, there's like a little, like, she's got these little dimples, but then there's this little thing over here. So I'm like, yeah, I know how to fix a lot of doll things. And, you know, it's not going to be perfect and um, all of that, right? So you're so excited about the squirrel? Yeah. So are we. Jimmy's already... He goes like this, do you know that who the flying squirrel bonds with, it's going to be, um, 
going out to whoever it wants to be with. And so he's already deciding that he's going to be that person. You see what I mean? And he's not even on the night owl. Hi, Renee. Hey, Luke, calm down, bub. Why don't you, you, the dishes in the dishwasher are clean. And there's the uh, wheatgrass, I mean, the, the, you know, the, what do they call them? The wheatgrass ones that aren't glass that are better for you to use. We only have like 10 ice cubes left for the next week. Why? Uh, because the refrigerator is failing. What does that mean? It's not going to make it's not going to make any more ice. How are we going to fix it? Uh, they're going to come next Thursday and do the same thing that they do, and it'll last um, for six months. Then they'll do it again. It'll last for another six months, and then the warranty what will be over, and we can get a new refrigerator. It? It's um, it should be recalled, but. Well, what happens to the thermostat? Uh, go tell it to Daddy. He'll tell you all about the thermistor. Okay. So we're getting a new one soon, right? Uh, in like 12 months, a year, right? Yeah. I've the only light is not even yeah. cold. Okay. All right. You want to talk about the flying squirrel first before the true crime or what? I I was, I was, just want to try to share something out. And then I've got to talk about the doll too. But then, all right, let me share this out to, um, let me put this in Slack. Okay, first let me just tell the people in Slack that we're live. Um, slack, slack, slack. General, right? Okay. All right. Oh gosh, I put it in last night. It didn't even, didn't even go in. No wonder. Okay. Okay. So that's that. go and just put it on the community post just just really quick just let them know that we're live okay I thought Luke said it's snowing and I'm just like no it's too early for that horrible case out of uh, New York City if you haven't heard about Winston Ortiz it's it's terrible terrible case absolutely awful Okay, okay. Also on the community page is a treat, if, a, a, a treat, a, a tweet. If you would like to retweet it, that would be wonderful. Okay, look please with the glasses. They're going to break. Okay. His giveaway can be the fridge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's see, hold on a minute now. I can't see the half the names in the chat here. I don't think my phone is charging either. You better be freaking charging. You better be freaking charging your freaking phone. There it goes. It's driving me absolutely batty. Okay. Um Let's see who else is here. Let's see. Oh, Scooter's leaving. That's good. Carolyn Connor, hi. Ivy Lynn, whisper to me. Shay Shay. Delphine, dreaming. Lori, do you want to talk about this? Do you want to call in for a minute, Carolyn Connor, or something? Sharon? Linda? Do you want to call in and tell me a little bit? Do you want to talk now? You don't have to appear on camera. Let me know. Let, hi, Luann. Texas woman. Your mom is home long, oh, prayers, Texas woman. She has a full recovery. Hi, 
Hi, Elise K. Oh, Delphine, what, what was with your daughter? Oh, gosh. What happened with your daughter, Delphine? Congratulations. That must be something good. Do you want to call in, Sharon? Do you want to talk about flying squirrel transport? Oh, now my phone is charging. That's good. Hi, Sean. Hi, Judy with an I. Hi, Julie Weldon. How are you? Oh, it's her 17th birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Pixie Dust. Hey, Lulu there. Kevin Leonard. I'm waiting for Caroline. Caroline, let me know which... Remember when they used to do that at weddings all the time? They don't do that kind of crap anymore. Who remembers that on the champagne glasses? Where did that even originate from, right? Tina Bina. I'm waiting for um, Caroline Connor. Oh, they still do that there? But have you been to a wedding, you know, recently? They don't do that really much anymore. Not like they used to. No, you didn't miss anything yet. Because we can't even decide what we're going to cover first. I was going to do this crime story. You know about the one about uh, Winston Ortiz. I'm sure you know that, My Crazy Life, right? Horrible story. Yeah, 20 years ago, right, Crystal? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't know. I, 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 oh, there she is. Hey, just came back. And I heard you saw Caroline. And I heard you saw Caroline. Let me know. Hey, I'm, I, now I'm confused. I'm trying to read this. Hey, just came back in the room and I heard you say, oh, I think she means say Caroline. Yeah, I am. I asked you if you want to call in and maybe talk about uh, pickup. That you and Scooter left at the same time, so you're probably conspiring how Scooter's going to get that squirrel. You're going to be like, oh, we were transferring it. And it got away, and then suddenly Scooter's going to have a new pet squirrel that Dave found in the yard that's going to look exactly like this one, right? And Scooter will be like, no, Dave found it. It's not that one at all. Because back in the day, it was to get the bride and groom to keep kissing. Now the couples live together. Well, so I'm so kiss. Oh, and then sometimes they would do it like so unbelievably much, and you'd be like, "Okay, all right now." I remember Jack breaking the glass. Wow, this is taking a long time to get an answer, and I don't know where Scooter went. Yeah, you hear Jimmy playing the guitar. My squirrel's special. Yeah. 
Carolyn, it's bonded with me on the trip. I called Jimmy already. We're going to find you another one. We're just turning around. <laughs> Look at this. I finished. I finished. I... I pretty much finished it. I mean, I have to. I have to go over and do some stuff. But I, I did that all last night while I, while I was, while I, you know, I was half falling asleep and then half talking. And people wonder why I can't watch the chat. I can't watch the chat because I'm decoupaging stuff. But I made that. That's going out to someone. I'm not finished with it uh, yet. I want to do some more stuff to it. I have to put another, I want to put like a top coat on there and I'm going to do something with the bottom. But that's one. And then I have another gift to make and then I'm going to start making some for giveaways. Original works of art. Okay. These are the these are the napkins that uh, Kristen got me. Oh, you're here too. Okay. Do you want to call in? Do you two want to call in? So that we could just talk about this, because somebody said like Renee W was like, I want to talk about the squirrel right now. Unfortunately, the true crime isn't going anywhere, but the squirrel is. Let me know. I'm going to send you guys the number, okay? Because nobody's answering me, so I'm just going to make my mind up for you guys. It's Billy, Jimmy. What? Uh, it's, the guy's name's not Jimmy. Excuse me, The guy's name is not Jimmy. I know, it's Willie. Uh, I thought it was Billy. Uh, I think it's Billy. I think it's Billy. Why is it, why, why, why are you, ch why are you changing it to Jimmy? I know his name's not Jimmy. Why do you change it to that? I, 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 I Jimmy in it. Oh. To you. Okay, so Scooter, I'm sending you and Caroline Connor a number that's going by email. And I'll see if we can get this out of the way. Oh, no, 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 I'm joking, Renee W. My uh, joking doesn't come across sometimes. I'm joking. Don't cry. Don't cry. From me, Argentina. What? I think Willie takes it to me and he blows it on the heart. Billy. Willie, I thought. I hear Billy. I hear Willie. I say Jimmy. Jimmy. Let me see. One one part I put Jimmy in there. I should put Jimmy every time I see. No, Jimmy and the Boat Boys. Jimmy, no, that won't work. I said, Willie and this, Willie and the poor boys. Oh, the poor boys. I thought yeah, they Jimmy, were boat. I thought they were. Like good, I Jimmy. thought they were boat boys. No, so Willie and the poor boys are playing. Uh, pay a nickel, tap your feet. Oh, okay. He says, he says if you got a penny, he goes, hey, Carol. You don't need a penny just to hang them. But if you got a nickel, won't you lay your money down okay. over on the corner? Okay. There's a happy Oh, she's noise. connecting to audio. Okay. People come from miles around. All right, I, I don't want to get a coffee. To watch the magic boys. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, let me see here. Caroline's here. Caroline? Yes. It's not. It's not. It's not Caroline, you sound just like Scooter. What? You sound almost exactly like Scooter. Are you Scooter? No, this is Caroline. Oh my gosh, you sounded like. Didn't she sound like Scooter in the beginning? I bet you they're going to say you did. You sounded like Scooter. You not only live near each other, you sound like each other a little bit. Oh, uh, maybe we have the same accent? <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. my, my voice, my laugh isn't as good as Scooter's, though. 
Oh, but boy, that scared me for a minute. I thought it was Scooter. I mean, that Scooter is not that swift that she would have gotten in there and changed the name and stuff. <laughs> I don't mean swift. I mean quick. I mean, you know yeah. what I mean, right? Yeah. I said, that can't be Scooter, but it sounds like Scooter. <laughs> I keep putting my foot in my mouth more and more. I should just stop. Um, they said, yeah, they said you did. See, the chat is saying that you sounded like her. Oh, really? Yeah. So I, yeah. Yep. That's well, we we live pretty close, so. Oh, but see, and I wouldn't think Scooter really has an accent. But now that you say that. Well, she's the only one that I watch on the panel that doesn't have an accent to me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So I yeah. guess so. Yeah. It's so funny. That's weird. Okay, so tell me what, so the vet, now tell me the story, because Jimmy wanted to hear the story about this little squirrel and how it was found, and you know, it's hard to see it in chat. Right. So, well, one of my friends I saw on Facebook that she said she found a flying squirrel. It was laying at the bottom of the tree, and she didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And I gave her my friend, who was a vet tech, I gave her um, her number to call, and come to find out she her husband works with the vet's husband or something like that some kind of weird connection she had with the vet who happens to be the vet at the same place as the vet tech that i'm friends with so um i she got her to the vet and they've just been taking care of it ever since feeding it you know every two hours and so it's it's a, it's a baby it's a baby, yeah. Okay, because I was going to say, because they couldn't get up. But you know what? I thought, I don't know why it's a baby, Jimmy. She said it's a baby. They've been feeding okay. it every two hours. It's a baby. Okay, we'll, we'll get it. We'll, um, we have to put chicken wire on it. I think my cage will do it. We need some wire right on it. We need it. I think we may need it. Jimmy's, Jimmy's yes. spreading over the cage. Yes. Okay, anyway. So. <laughs> we'll be our baby. We'll put him right in the family room. But, so wait. So he was on the bottom of the tree, and they've been feeding him every two hours, and, um, and you said it's a male. They know it's a male. Really? Yeah. I guess he see his little winky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little guess. bow tie. A little bow tie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His little okay, bow tie. So, so oh, when are we gonna go get him? Well, that's we're, we're gonna talk about that. So out. now we'll um, meet somewhere at a place where we can go enjoy something. Like enjoy that. something. Something to eat and maybe mm -hmm. some rocks or waterfalls or something. Rocks or waterfalls. Yeah. You know. Okay. So, so. <laughs> um. So just so yeah. He so he's little little guy and he's doing doing well and the, and they're feeding him every two hours but then he had no siblings he was like the only guy that was out of the day he got he probably got blown out yeah he was the only one out of the tree yeah the thing is is as soon as I saw this on Facebook I was like oh my gosh you you have talked about the flying a flying squirrel for two years now you know so I'm yeah. like oh my gosh. But I didn't want to say anything at first because I wanted to make sure he was going to make it, you know? Right, right. And he's doing well. And, and so there, he's is he still eating every two hours? Um, I think so. I think he is, yeah. And they, do they give him a little bottle, that little tiny little bottle? I don't know if they do that <laughs> or if they, you know, do it through a syringe. I don't know. Oh, we'll have to find out. Yeah, we'll have to find out all the good stuff. Right, we'll take care. We're good with that. We're it's good okay because I'm up all night, so I just have to like, do like two, two, and then hand yeah, it off to you. Yeah, you post it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, and then, then he'll move on to like the fruits and stuff. And, and I saw I was, I've been studying. Okay, so that's really good. So um, now, how close do you live to Scooter? Uh, probably twenty minutes. Okay. <laughs> but Scooter doesn't know which which house, Dave's house or her house, is closer to me. Oh, uh, or Pennsylvania. You would have to you, you we'd have to meet your guys. I think. Eleven and a half hours from us. Yeah, but I we, know. I know where Dave's house is, but oh. I'm trying to think of where it is on the map. I'm not very good at that. Oh. So, um, prob probably, I'm probably closer. My house is probably You're closer. Probably closer. Okay, and and then I think we have to meet like probably in PA then. Either that, yeah, I don't know what the numbers are in Ohio or Pennsylvania or whatever. Or Ohio, I yeah, yeah. I could go to. I, I've gone to Ohio in one night too and back. Can you believe that? Really? I don't know what part of Ohio was. Yeah, when we got our um, 
when we got Zoe and Sassy. My daughter and I drive, drove out. Jimmy said, it's just a little bit out of Pennsylvania, right? And yeah. I was, I don't know, I was, guess, you know, you have that adrenaline rush. You're going to pick up your puppy. And I drove that both ways. And my daughter's like, you need me to drive? I'm like, no, I'm fine. I went back and forth, and, you know, the whole night. So, I could, yeah, we could do Ohio, too. Um, and uh, see, Carol Boyce, I probably could have come out there and pick, picked up the doll along the way. Um, <laughs> you could throw it out of the window. Here you go. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh, Skipper, I'd love for you to help, but um, I don't, th with you being in Virginia, I don't think it would be um, too, um, too good for, for us right now. <laughs> but yeah, so no, um, we'll have to look at this map, and I can't believe Scooter's not, where, where the freak is? She's probably in the bathtub. Is that where she is? Scooter. It's funny that, that we talked about this flying squirrel caravan trip and now it's coming. Do they have a name for it? Do they call him anything? I don't think they've named it. And you said like his two little kids are attached to the little guy? Yeah, it's the, the Brooke is a female. So the Dr. Um, <clears throat> Brooke actually um, has two little boys and they're kind of getting attached. So she's like, you know, if we're going to rehome this, let's, let's well, yeah, do this. Soon. He'll be on videos, so, you know, that'll be great. Right. You can say, a, he can give a shout out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the little <squirrel>. Yeah. <laughs> that'll be, that'll be funny. Maybe he could hold a little dowel or something with um, the name of the kids. Hey, Scooter. Scooter? Yes, ma'am. I thought that, I thought you were fooling around. I thought you were Carol. I thought, I thought you put her name in and pretended. She sounded like you. Oh, really? Yeah, she everybody, everybody thought like. so. Oh, really? Yeah, everybody thought so. It sounded like, yeah, you'll have to listen on the playback. Hi, Caroline. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I was just telling Dave about the squirrel. I knew. I said, like, like, no. here. I said, yes, they do, Dave. This was in Valpo. He's like, yeah. no. That's one of the like what Jenny had. I'm like, no, 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 it's not a sugar glider. I said, I didn't know they have them around here either. Yeah, one of my clients today actually said that when I was telling her the story about the squirrel, she said her cat brought one in. See, see, I told you guys. Yeah, but it was it was much bigger than this little guy. What'd she I, do? This one just probably it was too too little to get back up and into its little nest or whatever. Well, that's what the lady from the pet store said around here because um, when we, when when our little Skippy John Jones went back to his, because he was an older one, so he he wanted to get back out there and he he got out there again. So that's good for him, you know. He's back with his family. He was an older one, but he still was really sweet and really, you know, turned us on to the, the flying squirrel. But she told us because we said, oh gosh, we want one so bad, and she said, you know what? She said, you don't realize how many fall out of the tree. She said, I must find them, and I find them, and I pick them up. She goes, and I'll put them on a, somewhere and hope that, she goes, but, you know. But a lot, I, I found that. Like, a lot of cats bring them in. They fall out of trees, and the, the tree guys find them. Mm hmm And maybe a lot of times they don't even know what they are. You know what I mean? They might think it's a mouse. They might think it, because a lot of people, there's a story on YouTube where this guy found one in Florida on the sidewalk. He had no idea what it was. And he brought it home and he and, and it was this flying squirrel and he has his own channel now. Mm -hmm. And he eats strawberries. Oh, really? Yeah, he eats strawberries, really. Yeah, he's, yeah, has his own channel. I want to see that. The flying squirrel um, has his own channel. So this one's just a baby then, Caroline. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah, two hour feeding. I did, you know why? When when it had all its fur, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not a baby. But now, yeah, that's the, yeah, wow. I mean, that picture that I sent you today is, you know, the, her, her hand looks so huge next to it. Hmm, yeah. Yeah. So the vet, <clears throat> excuse me, the vet said Carolyn could have it. Yeah, now here's yeah. Scooter, here's Scooter. Oh, uh, Carolyn, just. I think we lost it. Just please turn the car around. I'm just going to tell her that we lost it. We're going to look very hard for another one. I said, and then you're going to come on lives like this and be like, what are you doing, Scooter? Nothing, Carolyn. 
every two hours. I'm not doing anything. I just, I have to go to the bathroom for a minute. I was like, what? And then she'll be like, you never believe what Dave found out of the tree. Really? Squirrel? That looks just like, that looks just like the other squirrel. No, nope. I know it's unfortunate yours was lost, but we're going to find another one. Dave found this one out in the tree. You know? <laughs> Well, you guys got to tell me what you, you know, how you want to do it. What Jimmy's, you do, Jimmy's chomping at the bit to go um, somewhere. Uh, he'll probably do so she was saying, like, I've driven to, believe it or not, I've driven over to Ohio in one night and back, like in one day and back, you know what I mean? When I had to pick up the dogs. I don't know. See, I have to look at a map. I'm not good with maps. I, map skills, I hated map skills. But I, yeah. I mean, I can okay. look at it. I but I'm not, not really. See a... how far it was. I looked up from my house in Hobart, and I looked from here in Buffalo, and all I did was put, you know, New York State. That's all. And it was saying 12 hours and one minute. Jimmy from said, one yeah, house. it would be 11 hours, like if you went the whole way. But he's like, we could meet them, like you know, somewhere, at like, ha like yeah. yeah. It was the same like either way. It was really weird. So let's say you're oh, in wow. Indiana. Oh look. You know, okay, and we're over here. So you're very close to Ohio. But so if we went, we could even, I'm trying to remember what part well, of Ohio. We're close to Illinois. Yeah, we're close to Illinois, not Ohio. Yeah. Ohio oh, oh, but but what, I mean, what, what I mean by close, is we're I mean you're over. closer to Ohio than Pennsylvania is what I meant to say. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> and see, Caroline works and I don't. Right, right. Okay. Oh, I'm free basically any time. Right. And Scooter's like, yeah, okay. Then. So uh, I'm just saying, you know, I'm real flexible. Okay. All right. That's what I mean. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, so Ohio, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to, let me just see. Which How many hours was it from you to Ohio when you went to pick up? I'm going to do that right now. That's what I was just doing. I'm going to see that place that I went to to get the puppy. Okay. Um, that was. That, I thought that was all the way in up. Oh. Oh, no, this, is, no, this is this is where I got Zoe and Sassy. I'm okay. Oh, okay. So I believe it was, let me see. We were almost in Ohio. I know it was like, it was Ohio. It was, so we're at like one. Okay, here is this. Let me see. Okay, so this was. Yeah, right, Sharon. Yeah. Oh, okay, so let me see where it is. Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. I am so freaking excited. I want to meet Jimmy a lot too. Yeah, Jimmy's Jimmy's like Jimmy's like. I think Jimmy would be like. Does the scooter have it tonight? I can make it flipping out to Indiana. He goes like this. I've driven it before. It's only eleven hours. Um, and well, then he's, I'm not doing it unless you're going to be there. Well, I'm going. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> But he's, I wouldn't believe, like, I thought he was going to be like, oh, Lucy, you and your hair brain schemes. But he was like, you know, he, <laughs> he knew all about it. He's such a faker. He goes, I already saw the text. I said, you did? You know, but he tries to play dumb. Like, you know, like he doesn't know anything about it. And then he, he got the cage out, you know, because it was in the garage. So he, he washed it all. And he's like, we'll get the new dowel, you know, because it fix it up. And we'll see. He's like, oh, he's like at the cage spacing because it's a baby. If it, we, and we have an aquarium, too. We used to keep our baby in an aquarium with the glass sides while it was really, really little, which we would probably mm -hmm. do. But he's going like this. If the cage spacing is too small, we could get a, a fine mesh to put all over. You know, I'm like, okay, but the cage spacing was fine with the other one. I, I think I'm going to use an aquarium in the beginning because um, it's better for babies, I think. So, mm -hmm. Especially if you have to feed them, you know, constantly. It'd be nice to have it like right, right. yeah. And he's like, we'll put it in the family room. Very nice. It'll be with us. I'm like, Aww. mom, then I doubt. Oh, not you. Um, let's see. I just can't believe I never knew these existed. I know. It, you know. Okay, so let's see. Um, so I went to Edinburgh. Uh, PA and that that is let me see where that's I'm trying to zoom out you know me with the maps right 
That's good. Uh -huh. I'm trying to zoom zoom out. It's near. Um, I guess is that. Where's Ohio? Let me see. Where's the. We don't, I, I'm, I wasn't saying that we have to go to Ohio. Oh, no, no, I just no, no. I'm just know what if Pennsylvania is safe. Oh, yeah, like, I'm just looking. Know, I'm, we don't have to quarantine afterwards. Yeah, see, yeah, in New York, yeah, I, I think Pennsylvania, they have no rules. Well, they don't? No, I don't know. I'm just joking. <laughs> but I, I don't think they, I, who, we got Pennsylvania people in here. You guys don't have, they don't have, nobody has rules like New York. New York is, um, we have a lot of, I mean, for everything. I'm not just talking about quarantine. We have crazy rules for everything. Well, I said that I would quarantine for 14 days out in your shed. Right, out in the shed, the new shed, yeah. So it's nice. <laughs> the new shed. So Every night when you're doing your lights, take your camera out and I'll wave. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, did you feed Scooter today? Yeah, <laughs> but I put it by the door. <laughs> she grabbed it. That's what I was going to say, like a jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, by the end of that time, Carol would be like, why did I ever like her? And I'd be like, why did I ever like her? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So where do you, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a map. Are you guys near the? Um, are you near Cincinnati? Not Cincinnati. Wait, Indiana, Fort Wayne. Are you near Fort Wayne? No, okay. we're on the other side of the state. Are you near? Dayton? Look up by Lake Michigan, Indiana Lake. Look by Gary, Indiana. Oh, by Gary, Indiana. That's right. Is there a Michael yeah, Jackson Hall of Fame up there? Uh, yeah, museum look, or I, look, you'll see Hobart, you'll see Valparaiso. That's where we both are. Let me see. Um, okay, so I see, all, you know, everything was Ohio. You look guys, okay, I want to show you this because you guys look really close to. Yeah. It depends on how big the maps are. I know, I know, close. right? Isn't it? You, you can make it seem a lot closer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that far. Um, but no, look, see, here's your Indiana. Here's Ohio and here's Illinois. Now, where, yeah, we're close where, to Illinois, very close. But so are you near Naperville? No, I, I, how come I don't see the, oh, here's the border. So are you near um, Naperville, Illinois? Springfield? No, we're right. closer to Chicago than we are in Naperville. Oh, to yeah, Chicago. So you're, so you're up here. Oh, maybe we could go, because Jimmy's like, where could we go? We could go for like a little mini vacation. <laughs> so where are these, uh, Lake Michigan, Lake Erie? Are you near Lake Erie at all? No, that's in Ohio. No, we're by Lake Michigan. You know, okay. you don't have the, you get the map that has like the towns. Can you do that? Um, That'd be much easier for you to see where we're at. All right, how do I get the towns? Is the chat saying anything? Are they saying anything like get this map or anything like that? No. No. Do, do, the, do, do the people the in the chat the know that I how I can do the towns? The people in the chat. Can you zoom in? Yeah. But, but see, it just has the big cities. But if she um, zoomed in, maybe. Oh, there's Gary. The... Look, there's Gary. Where? Right here, right by Lake Michigan. Yeah, yeah, we're up by. So I'm watching on the delay. I'm oh, sure you oh, right. So you're so you guys are like over here, kind of like by Mary. Mer, what is that? Merrillville. Merrillville. Yeah. yeah. Merrillville Hobart is the same thing. The, basically. It, wait a minute. Is that, is, that, is that the Merrillville Express that that song is on the Merrillville Express? No, it's not the Merrillville no. Express, is it? No, no. it's it's one. <laughs> <laughs> what express is it? <laughs> It's the Marrakesh Express. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Oh and I don't even drink or anything. This is crazy. Okay, so the Marrakesh Express. Yeah, right. All right. But you're not. It says keep zooming in. Keep zooming yeah. in. Keep zooming in. Oh, Valparaiso. Did you just say that? Yes. Okay. That's, yep. I see that now. I just came through there today, coming down. Not far at all from my house. Okay. Um, wait, where is, oh wait, you probably don't want to say it on my, what? Well, where Dave, Dave house is. We Dave's know, house it's, he's is. in Buffalo. She always Buffalo. says it. Buffalo. 
You see, you can, well, I'm going to say you see one of the towels. Where's Buffalo? New Buffalo, Buffalo is, is south. You know what's Seven really strange, point. Scooter, do you want to know what's really strange? And this is so strange. The county that I live in, there's the same county, not only in Tennessee, but it, there's a county in Indiana. And there's like, you know, they have those garage sale things on Facebook and it says that county like yard sale or something and they people sell things, right? Yeah. Well, our county has like five of those pages and... When I was signing up years ago, I signed up for one, but it was Indiana. And so many people from here did. And you'd see the people and you'd go, wow, that's really nice. And you'd go inquire on it. <laughs> and the freaking thing was in Indiana because it was the, it was the same county. And then you said you have like, um, I believe you have a Monticello, you said, right? You have Buffalo. Yeah, down here by Buffalo. And I think you might even have a Jeffersonville or a Youngsville. You, you have something. And there's yeah, yeah, in yeah Indiana, there's a Jeffersonville. Yeah, that's crazy. That that is no. just nuts. Okay. It is. Yeah. So um let's see. Westfield Correctional Facility, are you new there? Okay. That's where my cousin works. My cousin Carrie. There's oh. a prison there and she works there as a guard. Oh, okay. So see because like when I zoom in then I don't know which state I'm in. Oh yeah, you're you're in Kingsbury. That's where you go hunting. Spr then that Springfield is that Ohio or is that Indiana? That I'm that's seeing. That's Indiana. Uh, Save Spring. They have a Spring. And look at the Walmart Supercenter. That might be the one where you get the clearance. I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm looking on that delay. Sharon's saying just get on I-90 and and go. We would go on I-90. I-94, Sharon. I ninety. I don't no, know. ninety would be the toll road. Yeah, the toll 90. road. I don't see a ninety. See 80, an, 90. Oh, here it is. Eighty ninety. Yeah, eighty ninety. Ninety eighty. It's a sixty forty. That does it. Just goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so okay. So you, this is the, the. This is the. Is this the one that you can go? Jimmy said there's like some road in Indiana. You could go like ninety. It's all flat and there's nothing. Is that the one? It was probably either the toll road or 94 the main highway there. Yeah, I wonder which one it is. Yeah, 94. 70 is the speed limit. But everybody goes over that. Okay. So, right, Carolyn? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Tina Bina says, I can see a whole series, series of this little squirrel. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, a whole series just on the drive to get there. Where are you guys? Oh, we got lost. We don't know where we are. Okay. Um, let's see. Caroline, are you wanting to drive or are you wanting me to drive? Or It wanna... doesn't matter. I mean, I my car could probably use a good drive, but it doesn't matter. I have a Jeep. You have a Jeep? Mm-hmm. I have a Corvette convertible. <laughs> okay, we're taking your car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would, I don't know. I mean, whatever you want to do. I just have a little Sonic. I'm not going to drive Dave's big truck pickup. Mine's real good on gas. But if you want to drive, I'm, I just pitch in on the gas. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, I would. No, I'll just drive. I'll drive if you want, because then that we'll have lots of space for all the shopping we're going to do on the way there and back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like nervous though. You're and nervous I have the tall thing. Oh, are you more nervous? Are you, are are you nervous to be in the car with Caroline? Yeah. yeah. Are you a nervous driver? No, I'm not a nervous driver. I, just, I mean a writer. No, not at all. No, I love riding. Do you I think, she'll kill, do you think going she's going trips. to kill you? No, I don't think she's going to kill me. She's super nice. Do you think I'm going to kill you? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> remember that time nervous? you said you were scared to meet me? And I said, are you serious, Scooter? 
I was just kidding. Oh, okay. I thought you were really scared I was, was going to kill you. No, I was totally okay. kidding. But that would be too easy if I killed nervous. you. Everybody would know. I, how would I even get away with that? I wouldn't even get away with that for five freaking minutes. What's making you nervous? Only because I'm not used to driving with somebody, riding. You know what I'm saying? Being with somebody that long that I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Well, let's go out to coffee before we go. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll be fine. It's just, I don't know. I'll be wondering, what do we talk about now? Oh, oh come on. Everybody you know, wonders about it. I wonder if I had to drive with some guy that I had a rental car and he had to drive me back. And I was like, oh, I hate this. I had to make conversation with him. And then you know what happened? I huh. didn't stop. We had so much to talk about. And it was like, yeah. I was so upset when it was over. Like, oh, wow. Because we really had a great time. Really? Yeah. You always worry about it more than. Yeah, know. but it wasn't like a 12 hour some drive one way. Yeah, but I, I talk, I talk for a living. So yeah, she talks for a living. I was, thinking, I was thinking, well, you were a real good talker when you did my hair. I felt so comfortable. Oh, that's good. You know, so I thought, I was thinking that I thought. Oh, she's probably going to have a lot of good stories to tell me. Oh, yes. Oh, stuff like that. Yeah, but Scooter, can I ask a question? Let's say you were driving, right? And Caroline was uh -huh. the passenger. Is it any different? Because you would, what, you, would you kick her out at one time if you got uncomfortable or something? Just be like, you're out. No. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, like Delphine Riley says, it's like a first date. It yeah. is kind of like that. Well, it is. You know what? J Bells and I, like, we were so close, right? But we hadn't met each other in person. But, I, mm -hmm. but you know, it's so weird because I picked her up at the train, right? And then it was just freezing because it was so cold. And we went right back. Uh, I, I said she was hungry. I was hungry. So we went to uh, Ruby Tuesdays. And we sat down. And then, you know, we looked at each other. And she, I, she's like, Wow. I was so nervous before this, and I said, yeah, me too. And I, she said, kind of feels like it was a date. Like, you know, are we going to have that chemistry together that we have, you know, on the phone, on you know, all that stuff, and then Zoom meetings, and are we going to have that chemistry when we meet in person? And she's like, but we did. It just clicked. I said, yeah. And it felt so weird because we were sitting in the in the freaking Ruby <laughs> Tuesdays, and it felt like like we were on like a freaking Match.com date, right? And we're like, yes, we had that <laughs> <laughs> the chemistry but like i i didn't get nervous about it prior to that but it was just like she was just saying like she was nervous and like when i think back now i'm probably more nervous thinking like what if she was a total nutcase and i found her like standing over my bed at night like with a knife you know because like <laughs> yeah. we, she came right home to the house right you know and 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 everything like so i'm more nervous looking back on it than i was then i was very comfortable yeah. You know, she never did anything creepy like that. Like, it was just standing oh, yeah. over my bed, you know? Scooter, you can always sit in the back seat if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend she's an Uber driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Or you mm. can just follow me in my car, in your car. You can drive your car. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll wave and honk. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I think, you know, I think it'll be a lot of fun, not really. Right. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think it so will be a lot of fun. And this. I want to see some new parts of somewhere. Like, and. Somewhat? Yeah. So that's why I'm trying to see, like, um, where the freak you guys are. And let's see. But Jimmy would probably be better at this crap than me. Um, so now I know so you're not near South Bend. You're not near Notre Dame. You're not near Roseland. You're not near Georgetown, right? My daughter lives there, and I was born there. Oh, you were born there, but you're up mm -hmm. by you're up by Lake Michigan, right? Yep. Yes, yeah, we're I'm now back the, over by Chicago, Lake Southwest Michigan. Southwest Michigan, great. Okay, Van Buren State Park. That's Michigan. Okay, isn't it or no? Yeah, yeah. Sean Michigan, said I'd be Indiana more scared of right an Uber driver, and managers yeah. said it'll be a blast. We should all stay at a hotel one night together. Mm -hmm. We should, with the new baby. Yeah. 
Madam one because like Jimmy's like what what place we we could stay for a couple of days and I'm like I, I don't know because like he was thinking like I and I told him Pennsylvania I didn't even know I I, I wasn't even thinking because I'm not good at my map skills and um, I wasn't even aware but so we, we should look where some you know where there's somewhere nice that we could all kind of travel to that might be nice yeah, to stay yeah. a day or so you know what I'm saying I'm being yeah. I'm for it. Mm -hmm. Are you, you are Caroline, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I don't want to make a drop and run. Right. Here you go. <laughs> exactly. Thanks. Bye. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. I'm thinking like Jimmy, you know? Yeah. Make a I want to see them with the with the new baby. Right. You know what I mean? I want to see them with the squirrel and interact and Yeah. It yeah. It would be so much fun. I'm not nervous about the squirrel, Ivy Lynn, only because I know Caroline Connor is an animal expert. <laughs> oh, I'm not an expert. I just I just love animals. <laughs> and you well, yeah, but you have unusual animals that most people don't have. Yeah, that's true seem to know a lot about them does anybody know this area sharon where, where, where do you know where sharon probably knows places where yeah sharon you're in michigan yeah but you that would be a long drive for you guys carolyn well like, what, like yeah. what about is there something like in ohio like okay so if we you say zoom in okay so this Columbus has to be ohio right dayton dayton's ohio yeah that's ohio okay yeah um, like what Where's Carol Boyce? She lives in Ohio. What's interesting in Ohio? Yeah, what's interesting in Ohio? Anything? I just heard someone saying that they would never move to Ohio. Who's the freak said it? Someone said I would never move to Ohio. They have so much stuff coming out, so many crimes. <laughs> oh my God! They said <laughs> these like really wacky court cases, but that I think they're talking about that one that. Oh my gosh, what is that Qu crazy court case where like there's three families involved? I know Ivy, right? I could tell Carol that I'd just pick it up. Um, she's near. Whisper to me, yeah, we're going to have to feed the baby squirrel. Yeah, I'd probably have to get road. a little baby bottle and stuff. Okay. She'll have all the info from the vet. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll probably have it for a day or two before we leave. You know, like right, right. Uh, so, so let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, like why, why don't, don't you go, go? Sharon says never Ohio go blue. What does that mean? <laughs> you see that? Go to Hocking Hills and say, rent a cat. Go halfway, like <laughs> she says, go to Hocking Ohio Hills in Ohio. Here. What is Hocking Hills? She says, get a cat. I have no clue. I don't know either. I'm going to look it up. Hold on a minute. Hocking Hills. Let me see what that is. Hocking Hills State Park. Is that what you mean? Logan, Never heard of it. It's Logan, Ohio. I don't know where that is. Let me see. Official visitor's guide. Ooh, that looks like banjo's playing. Here, look at this. Gosh, <laughs> um, that would be awesome. Visit Old Man's Cave. Walk to Ash Cave, see Cedar Falls, ride the zip lines, hiking, camping, attend festivals and annual trips. Is this what you're talking about, uh, Sharon? Return to wild forest therapy session. That sounds fun. That's pretty. Horses. Cozy cabin is his. Is this what she's talking about? I don't okay, know. Look, you can reserve a cabin online. That sounds like Friday the 13th. That sounds like a murder. Um, doesn't it? Uh-huh. A little scary. <laughs> hey, I'm game, though, to go wherever. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Yeah, and that you hear, like... Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> we heard MRV staying here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, 
Oh my gosh. Carolyn, go to the Christmas Story movie house. Where is that, Tina? That's in Cincinnati, I think. Is it a museum? There is a museum across the street. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard that it's there. Do not let Jimmy near a gorge in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Debates happens. Millersburg. Someone D shots is saying Millersburg, Ohio. I'm gonna check that out. Let me see. I just wish we knew like where these places are, though. Oh, Millersburg is a village that's okay. That looks like what's in Millersburg? Things to do in Millersburg. Victorian House Museum, a glass museum, an antique emporium, a cheese factory, a cheese chalet. They must be known for cheese. <laughs> I love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sharon says, come up to Frankenmuth for the world's largest Christmas store, Bronner's. Oh, where is that oh, one? Yeah, you know, I have friends. I have friends that go up over there because they go to like this they have this doll meetup and they go to Bronner's. And I, I once worked oh, with yeah. them. Now, where is Bronner's? That's in Michigan? Yeah. Yeah, Franklin. Franklin. My mom absolutely loved it there. Yoder's Amish house. See, that wouldn't be too far of a cry if we said we're not Amish anymore. I told Jimmy that. He, he gave me like a side eye. Like, he's like, Come on, you just stop being Amish and you're going to McDonald's. <laughs> filled with Amish people in it tonight at Burger King. Yeah. They have the little hats and the long dresses and. Oh, really? It was really cute. Oh, you're serious. Okay. Yes, yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> oh. Where is that, Scooter? What, the Burger King? Yeah, that was with Amish. That was in Wanata, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Do you think they were Amish or were they? Um, no, they were Amish. Amish. I was going to the drive-through, and you know how Speedway's right there Did they on the corners. Them? No, 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 no. But I was, I got gas at Speedway and just rode, you know, through the parking lot there to Burger King right next door, and these two Amish girls were walking with their cute little hats and their long dresses. And then I drove right past a van that was filled with them. Frankenmirth? What is that? See, Sharon knows all this. Sharon knows all these places. What the heck is Frankenmirth? Move. Frankenmirth. That's where the Christmas store is. Oh, Honors. is that where it is? That's where the Christmas store is? Yeah. It's two hours from Toledo. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, Frankenmirth. The reason why I asked is my, um, where my daughter lives in Mishawaka, there's a lot of Mennonites, and actually she married an ex-Mennonite. An ex-Mennonite, that would be a good story. Mm -hmm. And they look very Amish, some of them. I know, I, right. I, they're a little more modern, right? Not, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me see here. Um, Sharon, you know all this stuff? Sharon, do you want to call in? What about Sharon? Do you want to call in if you know all these places? Sharon's like, she's like a tour guide. Exactly. Maybe she would want to meet up. She might be scared of you, though. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're scared of Caroline. I would. I would yeah, like, I know. Well, it's not that. Thanks. It's not that I'm scared of her. <laughs> I get when I'm with somebody, okay, you Caroline. know, but I don't know I that well and for a long period. Do you know what I mean? I worry about it. What are we going to talk about? <laughs> All that. What, what if I forget my crazy pills and I go crazy? <laughs> <laughs> If we have a lull in conversation, we'll sing, Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> if I was Caroline, I would do so much stuff to freak you out now. 
that I know that you're like that. Like, I would just have my purse open with, like, a big knife in it and stuff. Like, just, like, really crazy once you got on the road. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Or I'd, or I'd pretend like I was taking a bunch of medication and <laughs> getting behind the wheel. <laughs> oh, God. I'd be like, no, I drive with this medication all day and like have a big thing on like do not operate a motor vehicle. I'd just be popping the medication. Oh gosh. Oh, you'll call oh in, God. okay, Sharon. I'll put the number in the in the in the moderator thing. <laughs> she could have a good time with you now. <laughs> Goodness. Sharon Martin says, here's the thing, what's open and what's not. Right, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. Cracker Barrel is always open. I always like to go on the road because of Cracker Barrel. And I have a $50 gift card for Cracker Barrel. You do. I do. Well, I guess it doesn't matter what I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know she, you know what would be really good caroline if you're driving along and then you're on the road and then you're like you know scooter what about that night on the line and you said you didn't feel comfortable with me you know that really that really hurt my feelings and the only time i flip out is when someone really hurts my feelings and i've been holding that in for all these days I'm just going to go freaking ballistic. <laughs> and I could say, I would love to see Scooter's face if we could get that. <laughs> Scooter, like, what? I knew I shouldn't have gone. <laughs> I knew I should have driven my own car. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, it's nothing personal against Caroline. <laughs> and you know that, don't you, Caroline? Oh, yes, I know. Next I time she has you in the chair... Whoops. Ooh, did I nick you? I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let me let me just uh, let me go on that trim again. Oh, I nicked you again with the scissors. That's so clumsy of me. Were you nervous when you came to the salon, Scooter? No, not at all. Uh-uh. No. But I knew I wasn't going to be there with you, you know, for 12 hours. Days. You know. <laughs> Oh, too funny. I, Ivy's, get, Ivy's getting secondhand anxiety about the whole thing. She's already, like, planning this, like, uh, who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? Oh, my goodness. And she gets the car. Pretend you have laryngitis. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You all better do live so we this can all laugh. This is exciting, though. I am so excited about it. I am I'm more excited baby. about this than when we go on our trips to Florida and stuff. Okay, this is Sharon. Come on in, Sharon. Hey. Because you get to ride in the car with me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're so excited. Hi, yeah. Sharon. What do you want to know? Oh, what, so okay. What, what would your what would you like? like are you familiar with where um, you know a lot of places? Like, cause you go all around, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Indiana, and then. Ohio and PA and then New York, where would you say was like a place like maybe meeting, you know, somewhere in between that's good and has something we can do? How far are you from Pittsburgh, just as a start? From Pittsburgh, you know, Jimmy asked me about Pittsburgh. I'll tell you how far, probably, let me see. Ouch. I'll bet you're not that far. Let me see. Oh, you did that big drive last year, right? Oh, yeah. We you did, did that. She did that. Remember year. Sharon did that crazy drive? She went all the way no, from we, Michigan. We to, we she went to New Hampshire. Or oh, Rhode Island. Yeah. Yeah. But we didn't this year because of, yeah. you know. Right. Okay, yeah. so let me see here. So yeah, we know lots of places in between here and there. Let me see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in my address and 
Um, and then just see how far you are from Pittsburgh because I'm curious. All right. Because I want to say we're about five and a half hours from there. Really? I think so. I know that we've got we've done it in five, but our son rode in high school, so they would have regattas all over the place. So we go to watch them, and Pittsburgh was called the head of the Ohio. Actually, it was a head race, so which doesn't mean anything to you, but trust me, we went all over the place. Pittsburgh is shot. Pittsburgh is shot. Mm-hmm. What do you mean Pittsburgh is shot? Pittsburgh is shot? What do you mean Pittsburgh? Really? Closed, I guess. He shot says it's shot. Okay. Well, we're just try- trying to see how far I am. Now, why is this? Yeah, just get, I want to know how far you are. Okay. Finding directions. No one's update your computer default browser. I don't want to update my computer default browser. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Danielle. Hey, You're an hour, eh? Which side Click the button in the, the bottom left girl. to continue. Carolyn's side or my side? Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. You see, that was a faker thing. That wasn't MapQuest. It says MapQuest, but it was Map Launcher. That's a faker thing. Look at that. That's so bad. Sorry. Hi, Phyllis, Michelle, Greenhouse. Love your pottery. You're so talented. Oh, hi, Phyllis. Love your call. They're doing a pickup a flying squirrel. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out what's between Carolyn and and Debbie. Okay, so it says that yeah. I, if I put I give you my husband the condensed version. It of says this I'm right five now. hours from there. You're five hours from where? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, because when we go to Hershey, we're about four hours from Hershey. Put, put, put where, whatever town you're in and then yeah. put Pittsburgh and say, how far is it between me and Pittsburgh? I did. It says happens. 309 say miles. Say it in your phone. I'll catch it, Sharon. I'm Sharon. It says 309 miles. From you to Pittsburgh? Yeah. That's not far. 309 miles. Mm-hmm. She's 309 miles. We're about the same ish. We're about five out Pittsburgh, not not Philly. Yeah. We're about five. I was saying we went to the rowing stuff and we got it. It's a little over five hours, maybe. Yeah. So you're 300 miles. 309. And who's driving? You or Jimmy? Jimmy, of course. Who's faster? Jimmy. Jimmy's faster, right? Yeah, he's, he's careless too. Not, if I, he wouldn't say he's careless. Aggressive, he would say. He'd say, like, and we're making a four hour shot. Mm-hmm. What happened? No, I was going to say, how far is it from uh, Valparaiso <sighs> to Pittsburgh? Oh, let me see. I'll put. Let me see. I'll put. I'll just put that in here. Mine's a chihuahua too, Shayshay. I think I showed it Um, Valparaiso to Pittsburgh is six six and a half hours. Yeah, I'm. I'm about five. If the traffic isn't horrendous, so. But D shot said Pittsburgh is closed. Because she wants to keep it. <laughs> she's, she's talking to her because she yeah. wants to keep it. It's dangerous to be driving with a police. He's probably thinking well, Cleveland. Like a Cleveland isn't a half bad place to to meet, but Cleveland is on the other end of Ohio from Two Scooter and Carolyn Connor. My sister, so, we were there earlier last or last year. No, yeah, last year. So my sister lives in um, Barberton, and we went there for her grandson's open house. It was near Cleveland. Okay. Okay. It seems like it takes us, I think it's 300 some miles to that area. 
from us. Yeah. So you guys, so that's about halfway for what both of you. Cleveland? Uh, yeah. It is? Well, really? Cleveland is not that far, really, from from Pennsylvania. Right, so no. you have to, you would have to go uh, the, almost the whole the whole width of Ohio, and plus you're doing most of the width of Indiana. So you're doing, yeah, most of the width of Indiana, and then Ohio. So. Let me see. So, I think Caroline, how Caroline Connor, how long, how old do they think the squirrel is? They didn't give me an exact, you know, an estimated age. They just said it was a baby. Yeah. And it's it like a kitten. It's, it's really tiny. I mean, I sent Carolyn, I think I sent it to you too, Scooter, where it's yeah, like Derek. Them holding and the fingers look huge next to this little, little guy. Yeah, yeah it's so it's cute. Just this tiny little thing. Yeah, and I've seen really? the full-grown ones before, and they're they're quite a bit bigger. Yeah, it just looked, you know, like its little body was like this big. Yeah. fit right in here. Its eyes were open? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, big eyes. Okay. So they can see at night. Oh, Cleveland is in the red zone. That's bad. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't want to go there. Yeah. I could have yeah. given you the name of a halfway decent place to spend the night for a hotel, but forget that. It's right from Carolyn's direction going towards Ohio versus us going through Ohio. Anyway, it's almost near Pennsylvania-ish. Personally, if you didn't have the squirrel, the problem is the squirrel. No, then but nobody will know. So the mission, it's also the mission. But the thing is, is that, you know, it's hot. It's summertime. So, I mean, you really, unless you're willing to leave your car running with the air conditioning on. No, you could take the squirrel with you. They're really portable. Nobody yeah, but if it. you go into a restaurant, they're probably not going to be They wouldn't even know you're putting, to have a, a, you're putting in your little oh, pocket or okay. your purse. They, they'll never know, Sharon. I'll just put it in the pocket. Yeah, they're, they're very mm -hmm. quiet. They'll never know. Okay. <clears throat> They'll never know. Yeah, if you see a picture, Sharon, it, it is very super tiny. I have a pocketbook that's Oh, I know huge. it's little, it's like, but I wasn't sure how, you know. Oh, it's not noisy. Yeah. Like, you think it's going to be? No, my, ours was not noisy at all. Even, and it was oh, a full-grown one. Yeah. And during the day, it will be asleep. Yeah, so. they're nocturnal, so it'd be, it'd be snoring. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, when you bring it though, what you need to do is make sure that you bring uh, water that it's used to drinking, if it's drinking water, um, so that its little tummy doesn't get upset from a, a switch of water, you know, that changed. So make sure you bring extra water so that Carolyn can like start mixing it with other water. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Pittsburgh is red, level four. Great. You where where do you have that? You have that map, that Icky's map. I'm I'm reading the shot. Oh. That Pittsburgh is level four, which is a red zone. Okay. <clears throat> um. I just saw something that was called Icky'sburg. <laughs> As I just saw this, I just went Ickiesburg. I'm serious. Really? Oh. Yeah, Ickiesburg. Where is that? Is oh. it, it must be in Ohio. <laughs> it has to be. It says it's around, let's see, Veterans Way, Ickiesburg, Liberty Village Road. That's so weird. Oh. 
Oh, J.A., yeah. a prayer for your daughter and husband. So they both tested positive. Who's? Who's? J.A. Uh, Who? Uh, J.A. A period. Yeah, A right. period. Oh. Yeah. Her, oh. Wow. Prayers. Yeah. That's her. So they have headaches. How did they get it? How did they get it? Smell. Who is it? Her, her, her daughter and her husband? I believe that's what she said. How did they, how they, did they get it? They're sick, headache, fever, can't smell or taste anything. Um, how did they get it? GA. I can mm. see the chat now. Husband and daughter. So the odds are pretty good that she might get it too. Your daughter works at Dollar General and she got it there because they don't sanitize the buggies or the doors. <gasps> oh no. What? Well, it's really hard to trace it. Yeah. It is hard to trace it. Mm hmm. But even if they don't sanitize that, you know, as long as you're sanitizing your hands and you're not touching your face and your eyes and stuff, that's the whole thing. And right. a lot of people don't realize, like, if, it's so weird. Like, if there was something on your face that would make your hands, like, um, have glitter all over them, you'd find a lot of yeah. people that think they're not touching their face, or they're, and they are, and they're touching them all the time. Because how many times yeah. does your hair get in your eye, like, and you go like this, like that, just to get it out while, and it's like, forget it. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I, I was like, Jimmy's like that. He'll be like, I didn't touch my face. I'm like, you touch your face like 47 times. My face is like hot, hot lava when I'm out. <laughs> I'm so good with it. Cause, but that's how I've always been. So. I, yeah. Hmm. Oh, you're sleeping in separate parts of the house, J.A. says. Does Carolyn Connor and, and Two Scooter intend to spend the night somewhere also? Mm -hmm. I think so. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Are you nervous about sleeping with me, <laughs> Scooter? <laughs> Scooter's like, I didn't know we were sharing a room. I'm going to get my own. Why would you get my own room? <laughs> no, no, no. The first time I met my friend Debbie in Rhode Island, I can't handle. Uh, she picked me up at the airport, and we were I was staying in their room at Disney, so I shared a bed with her the first time First time I met her. And this is a friend. And I'm Where did still you alive, and so is she. Where did you meet her? Is she an online friend? Well, I met her online. Oh, okay. I've known Debbie for oh my god, forever now. How long but did Disney, you know before she, you Disney. met her? Yeah, I would just get my own room, though. I mean, you know. Oh, I know. I was just kidding with you. <laughs> <laughs> You could get one room with two queen beds, and everybody has a bed. I like my own room. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> personal. Oh my god, this is so funny. Well, Ivy Lynn says a place called Slash Lagoon in Erie, Pennsylvania is open, and it's got an indoor water park. So that would be fun. And a hotel. Yeah, there's a hotel and water park. Huh. Are you guys laughing at me? You're laughing at me, aren't you? No, I'm not laughing. But I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm scared of water parks now because they, they had to close. Like, a, like I, I think, like, outside would be, like, something nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, almost like that thing you showed with the hiking and the waterfalls and stuff. We're like we can be out. Ivy Lynn, I haven't taken Ambien yet. I'm pre ambient <laughs> Out in the open. No. That's why I was willing to call in. <laughs> <laughs> da Danielle saying hi, not Dave. <laughs> you guys thought that didn't look like him the other night. Oh, I didn't see him. And she said, yeah, so he we went walking through and she said, Hi, not Dave. See, that's the second person who said Splash Lagoon. 
Kevin Leonard. <laughs> Except for the other no. society in her sleep. <laughs> called Flash Lagoon, which is kind of scary if you think about it. Flasher. Poor Caroline Connor. <laughs> <laughs> she must have such a complex now. <laughs> I shouldn't have said all this. <laughs> My fears I need to keep. Not fears, but my anxieties. I need to keep <laughs> the to next myself, time. I guess. The next time Scooter no, gets a haircut, fine. she'll be have like a half of it's gone. <laughs> like what? Oh, she said the the uh, thing slipped out of her hand, <laughs> but it'll grow back. <laughs> Look at Dave you looking could, at you. You could stop over in like Monroe, Michigan, if I'm not mistaken. There's a um, well, an out, outlet shopping. <laughs> Scooter had to shut it down. <laughs> okay. Okay. What, what happened? <laughs> Did you get yelled at? <laughs> no, I was just saying. Uh, Dave was giving me a kiss goodnight. <laughs> oh. I saw Dave. And, Did you? Uh, Phyllis, we 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 can see the chat. I'm watching the chat. Hi, I, Phyllis, what's up? I can't see the chat. I don't know how to use it. I can see the chat, Phyllis, but I'm day I'm on my phone. I can see the chat. How's that? Mm -hmm. What's up, Phyllis? You might how have you to look underneath the video itself, uh, Phyllis, where the title is, and it might have a button there where you push live chat or something, Which, maybe. Uh, or oh, you can't see. Oh, yeah, look if it says live chat. Li live chat, Phyllis. It's up at the top. There's arrows going in two different directions. Are you on a phone, Phyllis? Yeah. Oh, look, Nanette says, Caroline, I'm out of the loop. Are you hey, getting Nanette. a squirrel? Yeah. Uh, Caroline Connor found one. See, now, now Scooter's going, that Nanette is going to worm her way into this trip. <laughs> Did you see me looking? This is a great yeah, I saw you looking like trip. the wheels were turning. You're like, what is Nanette? She says, she's going to be up there. <laughs> oh, well, see, now you have three endorsements for Splash, whatever that place is. Let me look back. A baby flying squirrel, yeah, it's very small. Well, there's a great mall uh, there as well, Breakfast Club Girl. Is yeah, swimming. Splash Lagoon in Erie, Pennsylvania. They're saying it's a good place to stay. There's other stuff to do, but, uh, like um, Erie, Pennsylvania. Apparently. Now, how far are how far is everyone from Erie? You'd have to look it up. It's kind of hard, halfway ish. And how it is on the Ickes map? If it's yeah, a what red about the Ickes map? Whatever. Well, Cleveland's a red, Pittsburgh's a red. What about Erie? You know, Erie's not that much, but you do have. Lake Erie, you know, oh, that about, might be worth getting yeah. a place on the lake and, Let you know, like see. a cottage or a, a cabin mm -hmm. on the lake. Can you, we'll all stay in a five-bedroom house. Then you could swim in the lake. <laughs> I, know, I know that, I know that um, near Sandusky, <laughs> no, we're not. there's nice beaches. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Absolutely not. Okay, Lake Erie, Ohio, right? Well, yeah, Lake Erie, Ohio, Michigan. Oh, I loved the Lake Erie when we went there. Okay, the yeah, Lake Erie, Erie is the fourth largest lake of the five Great Lakes. Okay. We stayed in a hotel where we got to take our dogs. We would go out walking, you know, and it was just so much fun. We had our boat. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Hold on a nice, minute. We've got, we've got, nice we've got it. We might have a little. We might have a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, Beach hazard statement issued for several counties along Lake Erie. What does that to do with? Let me see. What, what does that mean? Uh, if no. you made plans to go swimming in Lake Erie, you'll want to hold off due to the high risk for the oh rip currents. I thought it was. I feel better that it's rip currents. I thought they were going to be like oh, you yeah. know some red tide or something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because that'll, that'll be there all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, rip currents. All right. Um, And isn't that, is that, uh, what you call it? 
Yeah, an amusement they, park. They have a nice beach. Well, yeah, Cedar Point is in Sandusky. That's what I, yeah, that's where we had stayed. But I, is it open? Fort Clinton. Fort Clinton. Well, Fort Clinton, Ohio is different than Sandusky. Um, yeah, I'll I tell you, on the causeway point. going out to um, Cedar Point, there's lots of hotels, lots of them. I think they're a ripoff because they know they've got gotcha. you. Right. Anybody that gets on that causeway pretty much is going to stay or go to Cedar Point. So. But I don't even know if that would even be open. You know, Sharon, it might, they might be hurting. I don't know. That would be closed, yeah. Yeah. I think one of my clients just went to Cedar Point. What, Let me see if it's open. Yeah. yeah. Just come down here, Carolyn, and... Go to Indiana Cedar Beach. Point is temporarily closed following local and regional Icky's health directives. We will open as soon as it is safe to do so. Mm. So it's not open yet. Too bad because they've got some really good roller coasters there. You guys could come here and stay in our little cottage. <laughs> yeah. Or they've got all those little hotels that are right there on Indiana Beach, a bunch of little resorts. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, I, and then, then you're going to Lake Michigan, which is even better than Erie. You know, I'm trying to think, what's the name of it? Pudding Bay is right there near Sandusky, and that's a really nice place to stay, too. But, again, I don't know who's got their little motels or hotels or whatever open. Phyllis is yelling for you, Carolyn. Oh, oh are you yelling for me, Phyllis? What, what, Phyllis? Twice now. What's up, Phyllis? I'm right here, Phyllis. Hello. That's me up here. What's up? I'm here, Phyllis. You're calling me three. I'm here. <laughs> She's calling two, three times now. I'm right here, Phyllis. Oh, from last night. She's saying from last night. Uh, Carolyn... From last night. Um, Read above about the glass cutting, she says. Oh, the glass cutting? Read above? Oh. All right. We got her attention, Phyllis. She read it. She's yeah, going to look. But, okay, let me see. <clears throat> Thank you all, <laughs> but I have no idea how to get back to the default. Okay, well, she's there let me see oh she i want to so mention oh about the tapping the tapping with the glass blowing uh okay uh let's see read above about the glass cutting okay all right so what about the tapping don't just tap it right we need sound option hears to alert the powers that be i can hear you i'm right here hi um i'm here phyllis Yeah, Tammy Prang, put in Bay is really nice. I think that's a really good spot. We've been there too. We've been there. Mm -hmm. Wish I could play a wave sound. We did that. Oh, do you did that in your chat? Yeah, we've talked about that, but I don't think YouTube wants to do that. I'm right here, Phyllis. I'm right here. <laughs> can she hear me? Maybe she can't hear me. I'm going to type to her. I don't think she can hear her, maybe. Right, yeah, that's better if you did, I guess. <clears throat> I told her I said I'd walk. Okay. She, she sees you, fellas. Oh, yeah, she heard me. Okay. So what? now we've got each other's attention. What's going on? What was what sound? Do you see us, Phyllis? Can we play an alert to get you? Is no, it a Phyllis. Chat. No. You could. You, yeah, we're right here. Hi. What's up?
instead of hot water, use a heat gun and then heat the line, then just put it in cold. And the part you want won't break. Oh. G. Schott said that, but I don't. Oh, it won't break underneath it like the other one. Well, that was all because it was just in the hot water. I think long. he had it in too long, yeah. Yeah, the second one was turned out just right. Yeah, yeah. Who's over here? Is chat, is there a special place to look? She played a sound. You, no, we didn't play any sound. I didn't hear a sound. Uh-uh. <clears throat> no, that was Scooter getting up. <laughs> she forgot her, she forgot her depends tonight, so she had to use the restroom. <laughs> oh, but I did not see what I'm... No, about the heat gun, Phyllis? Everyone has an accent. Yeah, absolutely. I don't. Yes, you do. I didn't hear a sound. Boy. I really made old. a noise when I got up. I don't know. I, I don't well, know. Well, no. You're not too old, Phyllis. Her dryer. Pl oh, that's my dryer playing a tune. See, we're all used to that. It was my dryer. I didn't even hear oh. my dryer playing the tune. Mm. I Mine does too, but I ignore it. I know. I tune my dryer tune out. Yeah. Oh, it was my washing machine, Phyllis. I'll look at 236. Can you see, see the chat now? I, I, can you see the chat, Phyllis? 236. Yeah, I read that, D-Shots. Are you going to tell me about the heat gun? <laughs> I wish I knew she could hear me because it's 2.36. Want to mention about the tapping of the bottle, right, with the glass blowing. Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead. Mention it. Go, go ahead, Phyllis. She played it like three times and then typed in the chat but did not see like she was acknowledging my messages, my sentences. No, I don't think Phyllis can hear me. It doesn't sound like it. Hi, so Diane. Can you hear me? Caroline Connor, are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. So are you are you going to sleep? No. No, not at all. Are you scared now? No, I just can't see the chat, so I'm not quite sure what you guys are all talking about. But... Oh, no. Phyllis is just thinking that I can't see her comments or something. Oh, any pics of the can. baby? Yeah, I'll show you a pic of the baby squirrel. Hold on. I'll show a pic of the baby squirrel. Phyllis wants to see a pic of the baby squirrel. Oh, the doorbell was when I came online, the doorbell rang. Maybe that was it. There he is. He's tired. That's that's my squirrel. <laughs> oh, oh, look how cute. Sakura, if you're listening, your kitties would sure yeah, like to hang out with that little squirrel. And there he is going nine. Where's she been, Sharon? He's going nine nights. What? Where has she been? I haven't seen her the last few nights. <clears throat> oh, I just said if she's listening. Oh. Uh, Sometimes she listens but doesn't yeah. um, participate. It's like Peggy Johnson. I, I worry about her all the time. But I know that she sometimes listens. Yeah. She needs a lookout. That's why when you say hi to her, I try to always say hi to them. Yeah. Oh, Nanette. He hi, Peggy. Like this big I hope you're listening and you're okay. Of a birdcage, a very large one. 
Hi, Peggy Johnson. Miss you. Yeah, you don't see my a animal. Oh my gosh, Phyllis doesn't see a picture. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> I want to feel included. Yes, you are included. <laughs> oh, that squirrel's so cute. I can see his little webs for his wings. What vet did you take him to, Caroline? Um, McAfee. Okay, that's on oh. six. Yeah. That's right down from my Wait. parents' house. Oh, oh. No, no, McAfee is over. Um, I said yes, but it used to be like where Just Sassabos is in Valpo now. But, but now, now it's further down, down on airport, airport. like um, that airport area where there's a lot of businesses across from JC Penney's. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. never mind. Yeah, I'm thinking of a different vet. I know what you're talking about by Myers and yeah, the movie theater and yeah. yeah. Okay, so Phyllis, are you all good now? I, I think it was Caroline Connor. She wasn't seeing. Hey, Sakura, I just had to say her name three times and she showed up. Uh, Pretty good, huh? In a, in a large um, bird-type cage, a very large one. She's here. I just saw her name. There she is. 2.46 a.m. No, no, no one, Jeanette. We're all good here. No one's trolling. No one's attacking here. We're all good. We're not discussing anything. It's all good. Everything's good. Afraid to mess with nice small... Girl, girl. Okay, so you're good now? The chat and the video is all visible now? Good, Phyllis. Okay, good. 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 Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm right here, Phyllis. Hi, honey. Hi. The Caroline Connors picture is her picture isn't on there. I, I Sharon, it was me. I, I was you. showing the pic, mm -hmm. uh, Phyllis. I was showing the pic. I was I brought it over. Okay. Good. Phyllis can't see you all on camera and the text at the same time. Oh, she probably has her, maybe she has her, her like YouTuber chat really big and then it's above, you've got to kind of condense it. Well, Carolyn Connor and uh, me, we're not on camera. Right. The people down below us in the, in, in the little squares, they're not on camera. They're just a telephone and a name. Yeah. yeah. Just talking on the phone. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Phyllis, you might be behind, they said. You might have to hit your oh, live button. Why don't you look at the states you are thinking about staying and check what color they are? We narrow it down. Yeah, dreaming. The thing is, is that there's really only three states. Carolyn's coming from New York then goes into Pennsylvania, and then into Ohio. Two Scooter and Carol and Connor are coming from Indiana, and then into Ohio, and then potentially into Pennsylvania, but maybe not. So if they meet in the middle, which is near Cleveland, really there's only two states to choose from, and it's a really narrow window. Does that make sense? Or you could drive the 12 hours, come here to Indiana Beach. I was showing the baby. Well, I, Me. That's I really showing. nice. Well, it would actually be Lake Michigan is wonderful. Are you talking on Lake Michigan, two scooter? No, I was talking about the amusement park here that's on oh, Lake Schaefer, oh, <clears throat> here by okay. our cottage. I've never been to that one. No? Uh-uh. It's a hundred years old. It's an, yeah. an amusement park. You it's could come on down, Sharon. Still, you know, right on the water. Yeah. Right next to the water. 
It's a nice place. Wow. When I lived in Illinois growing up, we used to go over to Schaefer Lake or Lake Schaefer, which yep. Yeah, we used to go to Indiana Beach. Since 14 days <laughs> quarantine, if wait, you're driving wait, wait, wait. to Pennsylvania and Ohio. Wait, wait, wait. To drive through them? Really? What? Oh. Oh. You mean Scooter's oh. going to get my squirrel? Scooter's going to get my squirrel? <laughs> oh, Tony Monty. Good night, then. Good night, Tony Monty. So they're saying driving through Ohio in Pennsylvania? I don't know. D-Shots just said this stuff. D-Shots, could you elaborate, please? Do you want to call in and explain what you're saying? Did that, you didn't say anything wrong. It's all good, hon. I don't think we even have quarantine here, do we, Scooter? No, we don't. Not from wood. Wait, wait, you yeah, know what? Right. You know what is wrong? I'll tell you how I know it's wrong. Listen, my nephew just left. He drove right through all those states. Into yeah, Illinois. okay. Yeah, so that that's not true. I, if you're going to, yeah. But you can drive Because through. he's by Chicago. Mm -hmm. But what if we want to spend the night? Right, but maybe we'd have to be somewhere in Indiana or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. Well, that's going to be a long way for you, Carolyn. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. Is that what you're saying there, D-Shots? That you can't stay anywhere and you can't, you can't get out of your car in Ohio? What if you go into a gas station? Or, um... Oh, the gas stations are on the toll road or the turnpike or whatever. Yeah. So you're you're kind of a prisoner of the toll roads. You can't yeah. you can get off them, but you gotta get back on. And they say they're sanitizing those real well. Is what I read. Oh, all right. D shot yeah. said you could drive through, but you can't stop. What do you mean you oh. can't stop? Wait, hold on. Wait. I don't get it. What if you're driving through and you veer off at a Walmart? How do they know? They wouldn't. Except yeah, for you would have to get off true. the turnpike and they give you the, the little slip. But still, what does that mean? Nothing. Phyllis, they were seeing the squirrel because I put it up on the screen. Phil, did you ever watch Mr. Rogers? And he goes like this, picture, picture, please. It's kind of like that. I put it up there. I can put it up again, take it off, put it up again. It's the software that I'm using. Hi, D90 Bell. They don't know. Oh, so you D-Shot said they don't know. So it's like, you know. Yes, Phyllis, the little line, right. Caroline <laughs> Scooter could be like Lucy and Ethel thinking they're Lucy and Ethel, school. yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just know I want us to hang out so darn bad. Oh, she says, my niece went to Florida for two weeks mm -hmm. and went back to Pennsylvania and did not have to quarantine. Okay. Oh, D-Shot says, it's okay. No one pays attention. Oh. And I have Illinois plates on my car. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Yeah, no one even knows I'm from New York right now. These are the same chips from last weekend. They were they wanted to come this weekend. Who? They can't because somebody else is coming. Who? Dave's nephew and his wife and Oh. His wife's brother with the girl, his girlfriend. But who wanted to come this weekend? No, she said, Alma said, is your brother coming? Because I see lots of chips behind oh, you. Oh, oh. 
Oh, hubby's a light sleeper. Okay, team. And our anniversary is Saturday, too. And Shelly would have cooked us a wonderful anniversary dinner. Really? Yeah, but she's gonna. they're going to come next weekend. My, you know, my dad and but you sound sister, ex- But you still sound excited about the company you're having this weekend. I do. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to tell you. I wanted her to. I wanted them to bring their baby, but that's the reason they're coming. Is they want to get away from their kids. Really? Yeah, they have a ten-month-old baby girl, and then a three-year-old girl and a four-year-old girl. I've never seen the newest one. I think she's like, oh, we have a lot of them. We want to get away from kids. I think my sister. And I knew that, but I thought I'd try. I think my sister's been watching my videos. It's a really? yeah. I think that's I'm why she's sharing. being so pissed. Hi, Alma. I'll tell you later. It's crazy. Like, okay. Crazy. All right. Oh, you can't do that. You have to tell all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you when I see you. <laughs> we'll be uh, married 28 years. Robin Swan. Hi, Pretty and Pink. Yeah, 28 years. Hi, Pretty Then November Pink. 23rd, we'll be together 30 years. That's when we met oh. on our blind date. I know Danielle, right? Really? Yeah. Hi, Anna. Yes, Hi, Diana. Hi, Patch. GG. All right, so real quick, did you hear about that, that poor kid, um, Winston Ortiz? No. Oh, the well, bike killed on the bicycle. No. Or, no, never mind. He's no. Eight, eighteen years Sorry. old. He's like a really, really, really good kid um, from the Bronx. I mean, like the kid they said, like every neighbor said that this is the kid that you wanted to have, and he was visiting his aunt down in um, Virginia Beach, and he went back on Saturday or so, and he had been dating this girl and apparently they don't even know if the girl's going to be arrested because she might have helped lure him there the girl's brother lured him into an apartment and when he got to the apartment he stabbed him then he put an accelerant on him and he lit him on fire while he was still alive and when the police got there he was still he was praying okay this kid they brought him to the hospital. He later died, but he told them who did it. And they arrested the guy tonight. Like it happened on Wednesday night. They arrested him tonight, the guy that did it. And now they're going to see whether this girlfriend, they think that she might have, there may be other arrests. She might have lured him to the apartment where the brother killed him. Oh, my God. Horrible. And they have his whole family. He was being arraigned in the Bronx tonight and his whole family was there and they were just, it was like horrific. What was the movie? Happy anniversary, Sunflower. I, I had to be something with the girlfriend, which what, cause it was his, the girlfriend's brother that killed this guy. So maybe he didn't, mm-hmm. you know, and everybody said like, this is the kid, like everybody would want for their son. And he was such a good kid. And you know, he had just graduated and all this stuff. and. And the aunt said if he had only stayed in Virginia Beach, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, that's horrible. It is. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't want to think about it. I don't know. I, it was horrible. People are so crazy. But These poor kids that get killed like this and these young people, you know, they go there so innocent and trusting and naive even oh the little fire yeah i know we talked about that team to be oh, the little that's fire horrible. yeah we did that's horrible and, and what was the motive on that i mean just that was insane i've looked for it and i can't find anything about any kind of motive hmm. it's like he just walked up to him and shot him right he said didn't he say something like he wanted just to see what it would be like or something like something stupid Oh, one of them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and then, yeah, oh, my gosh. And the parents have put their baby in a five-gallon bucket of tar. <gasps> what? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, God. No. Yeah. Oh, Can you Lord. even believe that? I, I don't even understand. Here's what I don't understand. How they even go through with the pregnancy, have the baby, and then do something like that, right? You would think that they would do something long before, I don't know. It's so... Once they had the baby, they if they, they could give, you know, give that cell. I don't even want to say cell, but, I, you know, there's so many people that want a baby. They could have done something on the black market where that baby would have even gone to a good home. Like, if they even understood that, mm -hmm. that they have to put a baby in tar, they don't ever have to do that. Unbelievable. I mean, that's so wow. crazy. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Deborah Vancouver, Dan. How are you? It's Sharon, by the way. It, it was in Texas. Andy Hall. Diana. Three week old baby. And oh my gosh. three weeks old? Mm -hmm. In a oh. bucket of tar. Yeah. That's that's crazy. That's why I like animals. <laughs> so look look at the parents. How did they find a baby? And the mother, I don't I gotta see her age. She looks old. Doesn't the mother look old? I don't know what she looks like. I right, put her up there. She, yeah, she's 41. She's 41 years old and he's 42. He doesn't look 42, but she looks more than 41 to me. A Texas couple is facing felony charges after their three week old son was found oh dead in a five gallon bucket of tar. Roland oh Grabowski and Donna Grabowski, 41, of Princeton, were arrested Saturday after deputies responded to their home regarding a possible unreported death of an infant. The couple refused to cooperate with authorities and they were placed under arrest on child endangerment charges. They then told deputies that they found their baby boy, Micah, dead in the bed when they woke up on July 29th. Investigators later obtained a warrant to search the couple's residence and found the infant submerged in a five gallon bucket of tar in a shed oh. behind the home. The couple told numerous lies as detectives interviewed them, including that the boy was staying with a friend at the time. There was an attempt oh to deceive God. us as to what happened and the whereabouts of the child, Skinner said. The couple even went so far as to text their friend to ask if they could say your baby is ours. The rest oh. Warren shows. Quick in and out, this is what they said, quick in and out, the text read, they just need to see the baby. So they, if they ask somebody, could you bring your baby here so we could pretend it's our baby? It's just going to be a quick in and out, and they just need to see it. Can you believe that? The couple wow. um, had told their son, their friends, their son died of sudden infant death syndrome. They took the child, they wrapped him in a blanket, and they submerged him in a five-gallon bucket of tar, and they put him in the shed behind the residence. An autopsy to determine the boy's cause of death is still pending. I've been in this business over 30 years, and I've seen a lot of crazy things, but this is the first time I've found a dead infant in a bucket of tar, and hopefully the last, Skinner said. Uh -huh. Roland Grabowski, who is listed as a registered sex offender in the state registry, has been charged with child endangerment, abuse of a corpse, and tampering with evidence. Donna Grabowski is facing the same counts, as well as tampering with physical evidence. More felony charges against the couple, and the boy's death are expected. And it doesn't even say if they have any other children, but you'd think if she was 41 and she never had a kid, you know, like, kid, you know, like they would be treasure. I mean, just uh, so crazy. Oh. Oh. Julie, oh. oh. we've been on about look at that expression. Isn't that something? She looks miserable. Mm. And he looks like he's all defiant. Or yeah. Oh, guy. he looks. He's got one eye going one way and the other going the other. I think he's done something. A quick in and out. Can you bring the baby over mm -hmm. as a quick in and out? Crazy. I hope they both get theirs in jail. Oh. Hope somebody takes oh, yeah. care of both of them. Someone will. I hope they do. I just don't get it. Do they not know that like someone would would you do so much for a baby like that? You know what I'm saying? They oh. just don't even know. Oh no. Yes. Oh. Like if they're so backward, 
you know, someone would say, here, give me, you know, this, they'll give you money for this baby, okay? You know, like a black market adoption like there used to be, right? There used to be black market. That's how Joan Crawford yes, got her kids. Yes. They paid for well, the Well, they babies. were private adoptions, but they were expensive. Yeah, but some of them were black. Even Joan Crawford said her some of hers yeah. were black market. She had that lawyer that would yeah, get because, those babies. Right. She was oh, a single, yeah. Mm-hmm, she was a single mom, and they didn't want to adopt to a single mom, so they got the babies. But even that, okay, she was abusive. She's not a good thing, but... There were people that just couldn't adopt, and they would love the kid, and it did, that would have been better than being in a bucket of tar. Uh, so crazy. Nobody shut you off, Phyllis. You're still here. We can see you. <clears throat> no, Phyllis, you're right here. Hi, Phyllis. I don't know, Phyllis. What's up, Phyllis? Are you okay tonight? Everything's fine. We see you. Oh, he's a sex offender too. Yeah, you said on top of that. Oh my gosh. So maybe somebody will for sure get him. Oh, I don't know, Phyllis. You know, and then you have all these millions of couples you know that always are trying to do anything they can to have a child that's what i mean a baby right and one of them would even be desperate enough to 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 buy it like you did Sharon. yeah Mm. yeah when we found out we were we wanted we considered adopting from china and then we considered adopting from latin america but then we found out that they were stealing babies oh i know in guatemala right from girls, yeah, mm-hmm. and we said, forget it. We we just we couldn't stand the thought that what if this kid was actually taken? They were doing that in China offered. too. They found out they were doing that in China too. They were saying all the babies were found mm-hmm. abandoned in the park. But you know how weird that is because if if that was true and they found so many babies in a park, right, Sharon? If yeah. you just went to the park, right, and you stayed in China for two weeks. According to yeah. how many babies were found in that park, you'd find a baby like every other day at least. Yeah. Right? And it doesn't see, and that was all, they found out a lot of that was all fake, and they made the fake newspaper report to say such and such a baby was found in this park, and it never was. Yeah. And then, right. yeah. yeah, it never was. The babies were taken, or they were like, um, well, and, and yeah. in China, they can play all kinds of financial games with you mm-hmm. and you have to bribe this official and bribe that and you official. have to bring all those gifts to them and yeah oh yeah, yeah. you better bring a lot of cash right so and they were almost in fact they were 100 percent girls i don't remember ever knowing of a boy so which would have been fine with me i didn't care what we got until we found out how things were working and then we said forget it mm-hmm yeah, I mean, it's scary because, and then some of the parents, like I watched a documentary on it, and they, they didn't want to, th- you know, they don't want to think, like, okay, is my child taken from somebody? But then one went back, and she met her real parents with her adoptive parents, and they said, no, she was taken, you know? and the, But they, the adoptive parents oh. went back, and they, they kind of, you know, got together and stuff. Yeah. Phyllis, would you? Phyllis, do, I see every comment. What do you have something to say, Phyllis? Do you want to say for me to see something? Thanks, Daniel. Hi, Sunflower Brown. Hi, Nicole. Yeah, but I, I keep at what she sees me questioning about me now that I. I'm listening, Phyllis. Tell me. At Wildlife, you're right. You're right. They only kept the boys and got rid of the girls. And Go ahead. I'm listening, Phyllis. Okay, I'm ready. Yep, I'm ready. I'm right, I'm right here. We're ready. Ready, ready, steady. She did not see my yes. I did see your yes. Phyllis.
clueless. I'm, I'm watching. I'm ready. Let's go. <clears throat> it was about the smash. I know. I, I said tap, not smash. But without uh, dreaming, yeah. without he heating, excuse me, without heating it or anything. Are you saying just take it off the the rolling thing and tap it without heating it, or are you saying heat it, put it in water and then give it a tap? Dreaming, <clears throat> we we didn't end up adopting. We finally had our own. But we were looking at um, adoptions from China, private adoption, and then we looked into adoptions from Latin America. So, but we didn't end up going through any of this. Okay, I'm holding on. No heat. Just take it off the roller and tap it. You're saying it's gonna it's gonna just crack. Sometimes, not always. Okay, I'll try it next time. We'll see. Oh, did you end up sanding that, or did you have time to sand it? I didn't have it? time to sand it, Dad. Yeah, but I because I was on with the refrigerator people. Same way as all. Uh, gla oh, snap their glass. Okay, I'll check it out. You tap gently along the seam, and it will separate. Okay, I'll try it. Thanks, Phyllis. Tap around the seam. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Whew. Got it. I'll try it. I'll try it. Yeah. Okay. She wanted to make sure you saw that. Huh? Oh, it's the lag. Yeah, I bet it. Yeah, it's probably that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. That lag is, is a pain in the neck. Yeah, dreaming. It took us seven years of infertility. I never missed a month. Never missed a Hi, month. Hi, Leisha. Hi, Lisha. Deborah Vancouver, and I'm glad we keep you off the streets, that's for sure. So, um, so we'll have to see. Maybe when Jimmy gets up tomorrow, I'll have him go over the maps. <laughs> have him look. He likes maps, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I know so once you're on the doing? right road, Carol, and that you just go continuously on the same road all the way across. Yeah. Um, what were you saying? It was Carolyn saying who somebody you said Yeah. When are you guys thinking of doing this? Well, when is it that say that the the squirrel can go? Oh, he can go now. What? Oh. Squirrel's so like, what? <laughs> I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Hi, my name is Caroline Connor. I'm here to pick up the uh, squirrel. So, well, I probably will have him right before, we, you know, like the night before we go or something. Right. Don't let Scooter do <laughs> Like I said, I'm free. Um, I have plans to go to Michigan Tuesday just for one day, but we don't have to go then. Are you going to, how far is that from you? That would be to South Haven, Michigan. My my brother-in-law and sister-in-law wanted us to come up for a day or two. Mm -hmm. But Dave just wants to go for the day. And so, but, you know, I told him I wanted to do this. So, I mean, that's whenever he's fine with it. Lying well, when is your anniversary? Your Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Well, maybe, I don't know, what do you think about doing it Sunday? Um, well, Abby if they Crystal want to Rogers, do it then, I mean. I might have. I might have. Is that the lady that was missing and then she was found dead? I think I did, Patty. What happened?
I mean, even if you wanted to do it Saturday, they're going to be here. So it's not like Dave and I are going to have any kind of a special day. And we're just, <laughs> we're going to wait until the following weekend and have a nice dinner. Well, I know <clears throat> Brooke said she wanted to have a couple days to like, um, you know, for the boys to say goodbye to it. So, um, I mean, if I tell them oh. tomorrow that I'll, I'll take it Saturday night. Mm -hmm. That would be two days. Right. Is she the one that stole the baby? Oh, is that, wait, is she the one that stole the baby? It sounds very familiar. Oh, a baby. She stole the baby? Crystal Rogers. Let me see. Let me check it out. Who, what boys want to say goodbye to it? The vets. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Crystal, Crystal Rogers. Oh, yeah, she's the American woman from Bardstown. No, she didn't steal a baby. She went missing on July 3rd of 2015. We, we, we did talk about this one. Um, FBI has more leads on it, right? Mm -hmm. I did talk about it a little bit the other night about the new new stuff on it, but not really in depth. I did, you know what I, one I did that's very interesting and I was going to talk about is the Marilyn. What do you think happened to her? Do you think she jumped? I think, I, Jimmy said, what do I think happened? I said, well, there's a couple of things. Now, I haven't watched that one yet. You put that up today, right? Yeah, but the one thing is the husband, I don't know if you saw the husband. The only the, There's a couple of things about the husband, but it doesn't fit because the husband wasn't with her. And they have the surveillance, but the husband's got like two marks right here. They look like, like scratch or like gouges or like something right there. And he doesn't cry. He doesn't seem overly concerned. His eyes are dry, like he's not like he could be in shock. OK, and I'm going to give him that because now, you know, I, I, I can understand that. So maybe it's that. But it just he doesn't seem he just is like, you know, I wanted to come home with the kids. So we hope that we find like kind of very matter of fact and not not really frantic and but they have surveillance footage of her uh, checking into a hotel, leaving three hours later, and at a gas station. And then they had, she called her mother and she called him, and then her phone went dead. So I don't know. I mean, so I'm saying about that uh, Marilyn Carter, the preacher's wife, and he's a Baptist preacher. And she's a mother of three, 36 years old. She was going for mental help, and she didn't want to go in Kansas. She wanted to go in, um, she was going to visit her family in Alabama and maybe go to Mississippi for mental health because she was like a chaplain or something in the place, and she wanted to go there. But they, they don't think she checked herself in, and they're talking about the, the HIPAA law. And but I mean, the police could find out if she was a missing person. I just... Oh, the one that, that, that was Heidi. That was Heidi that took the baby from Texas. Hi, Lisa H. Did you just get here? So what do you guys think? Do you think she, I, I said to Jimmy, maybe if she was that depressed, she might've jumped off that bridge because that's like the last place they have her. So what about, but where's her car then? That's another thing. And she, she said she was driving on dirt roads. I don't know. They haven't found her car. That's a weird thing. That is weird. Cindy Voss, I can see you. And then someone says they might have seen her on Monday, but they're not sure. Is anybody following that? Has anybody seen the husband?
I feel like the chat is lagging like crazy. I know. I feel like no one can hear what I'm saying. I feel like, can you hear me? Because there's like not not know, one not weird. one response that even goes to what I'm saying. I know. Right? No. Uh, mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. They said that she wanted to see a therapist, right? Every everyone thinks her husband is kind of weird. Oh, they, and wildlife is in Kansas. So they do. They do think her husband is weird. You just heard, okay. When was young and broke? Okay. Oh, you're talking about dinners, okay. Oh, Diana, about that Marilyn Carter. What do you think happened to her? She's been missing. It's going to be like two weeks tomorrow. Or oh, close to two weeks. 13 days. Okay. Do you guys have any idea of what happened? The, the mental health place said that she had not checked in or they didn't say. He said he went to Jackson, the husband, and he said they won't tell me anything. And I understand that's for their safety, but someone's missing. And that's mm -hmm. when, but then I think the cops found that no, nobody checked in, but it was just weird. Some of this, and, and he's got these marks on his face, like right in the same spot, like as if like, I don't know, it's, it's just weird. But then what is she doing on the surveillance? Karen H. Wright. Yeah, I don't know enough about him. Do they have him on surveillance to know that he didn't follow her or something? Right. That's what I'm thinking. Like, like, where was he? Like, is he really accounted for? Right. And the brother-in-law mm -hmm. is the one that's being like the spokesperson for the family. But she left the hotel after three hours, Nicole. Yeah. You think she must have gone home after talk? Oh. Hmm. And then you think something happened? And he went to her and they fought. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too, Robin. But um, wouldn't he have been caught somewhere on surveillance driving? Yeah, I let me get a picture of his face. Hold on. There's a really good picture of where they went really close up. Hey, Gigi. Because somebody mentioned it too, and let's see. Injury on face. Let me see if they have it in this one.
So Lisa H, you really have flying squirrels out there that you yeah. feed. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Love you too, Gigi. You need to lure them into the house, Lisa, so you can make a pet, uh -huh. pets out of both of them. That is so cool. You guys, didn't any of you see the injury on his face? Oh my gosh. Oh, we did. Uh, Phyllis. Phyllis, you saw the injury on the guy's face? She said he's definitely involved, that he, you can see the injuries and that it, it will come out. Oh, okay, I'm trying to find the darn picture now, Phyllis, and I can't freaking find it. It was so noticeable, and wh whichever news outlet it was, it was like ABC, a it, they, they did such a close-up on it. Now I wonder if they like, took it down. Now I'm thinking that there's a conspiracy, because I'm on the same thing, and why can't I find it now? Let's see, here's it. Oh, wait, I think maybe it's this one. Come on. Gonna show this. He did an interview, and that's when it's so prominent. So let me look up for his plea. Hold on a minute. Um, Carter. Plea. I, just something rubs me the wrong way. I don't like, you know, like, um, but... It is always the first person you look. Uh, Tracy, class, they just do it because they don't like the creator. So they'll give them a thumbs down. Hello, everyone. I have something to ask you. <laughs> Can you get a flying squirrel by tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Something to ask you. Uh, let's see, I can't find his plea. Oh, here, okay, wait, I think I found the picture. Let me see. Fox, that's what it was, it was Fox. Come on. Okay, hang on, let me just get, come on. Let me get to the spot. Come on. I feel like it's a conspiracy now. Really? You no, know, because I, all day I've been watching this video with him with these marks on his face, and now I can't find it. It's like somebody took all, them all out. Let me go to the Facebook page for her, because if they're not there, where the freak did they go? Well, she saw that somewhere, like you, yeah, Phyllis. I know. Oh, here, here he is. This is, okay, hold on. Let's see if I can pull him up. Let me pull this page over. Where the heck? Come on. Okay. Yeah, Diana Maloney saw it, too. She has the picture. So let's These see. These abstracts. Um, both to just not just myself but our entire family. See, they're right so here and here. Uh, well, you can see them better. Uh, many in other of you things. have reached out and said uh, how you can help. And the biggest need that we need help with right now is we need volunteers to help us search the river right around the I-55 uh, bridge there in Memphis. 
We need people who have a boat and, a ver and very good so sonars and experience navigating the Mississippi River. And so if you, if you can do that, or if you yes, know someone you see, can, this other uh, picture you can, you can see right here, and right, right here he's got two marks, and there's another there's video that shows really there. a uh, lot be better. That would huge uh, help to us as we're uh, attempting to rule out uh, the worst yeah, possible can see that scenario uh, yeah. of uh, the river yeah, in that area. So if you could uh, sign up on findmarylane.com, that would be a huge help and blessing uh, to our family. Again, thank you so much for uh, your, your words of encouragement. We see that encouragement. And so we just want to just uh, say thank you and continue to pray that uh, we can have Marilyn home. Our three kids uh, miss her. Um, I miss her. We want to have her home. Oh, I thought I was canceling that thing. And I uh, thought I was canceling that pop-up thing. And I canceled that thing. But um, what's the phone What's one second? I... What are you doing? What is that? Oh, my nose. All right, thank you. What is it? I don't know. The one? Mm -mm, not right now. I'll take it. Can I? Can I Where was it? See, it's Darling, a conspiracy. Are the boys excited about the squirrel? Yeah, 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 they are. Jimmy's more excited than uh, anybody else, really. Jimmy's, like, freaking. Yeah. See, I'm trying to find it. That's her mom. Yeah, what, now see, I really think it's a conspiracy now. Where did that thing that I go that just had him on there? That's her. That's her, yeah. But I'm trying to find his little thing now. That's the mother's plea. Mm -hmm. But I just was showing it, and then I clicked that stupid thing that I thought it was just meant cancel that. Maybe it's this one. This is where she's checking into the hotel. You see that? Now she's walking on her own accord into the hotel. Yeah, Phil is saying all the right things. Okay, then they have more of her. Let me see, it should probably be up there. They have her coming out of it. That's the car, and they haven't found the car. Mm. And then here's another one where she's, and this is where three, let me see, this is where she's checking out. Because it says three minutes later she drove away in her 2011. Oh. Yeah. Did she stay the night or not? Three hours, only three hours. That's it? Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Only three hours. Why is she wearing what looks like a winter jacket? No, oh, that's not her. That's this is, this is her. The desk. I yeah. See. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this is probably her coming out. That's her car, isn't it? Over there. There she is. Oh, she, they brushed that up. And she's getting in by herself. You don't see him around. But they said that the, oh, the oh, weird, could he have been in hiding in the back seat? Oh, maybe. But you know what it is? They said that she texted him when she checked in, and that she called him when she checked out. Oh. So he had three hours. Maybe that's why she waited. Maybe he was going to meet. Like, is that why she was leaving three hours later? Maybe he said, "Come on, let's pat. You know, whatever. I got a surprise for you. Meet me. You know, somewhere." Maybe. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I, I just have a yeah. weird feeling that there's something going on there. Well, she's a missing person. So, um, D-Shot said that they won't uh, let anybody who's in the psych ward call for, or contact anyone for three days. And 
But since she's missing and the police yeah, you think are the police involved would with it, this, yeah. they would say, oh, she's here. Or at least anonymous, you know, like call the police and say, hey, you know, we've got her here. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. And does she have a history, of, a written history of having mental issues with doctors and stuff? Or is this just something See, and that's that another this guy's thing. making up? Right, right, because like this preacher, right, so normally he'd probably be pretty tight-lipped, right? On something yeah. like that. But they're not. So, like, why is he, like, that's what I'm saying. Is he making it? But they said that the family, I guess her mother said, um, she called her and said she was driving on dirt roads or something. And he's like, why would she be driving on dirt roads if she's going from one city to another? She wouldn't be driving on dirt roads. But yeah. maybe he was mm-hmm. with her at that point and he told her to say that. You know what I mean? That's possible. Right? So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, just, the whole thing is so weird. Very weird. And her, and the one, the littlest one is going to be three on Monday. Oh, wow. And this is where they're, they, you know, they people sign up to be a volunteer. But it's just a very weird thing because... I don't know. I mean, so I was a beautiful family. That's terrible. It's It's very strange. I don't know what that. Anybody in the chat has any ideas? Something must have enticed her out of the hotel. The last ping on her phone. No, the last ping on her phone um, was uh, Memphis. Wasn't it going into Memphis, Tennessee? Right on, but right by that bridge over the river. Oh, okay. right by that bridge over the river. She was off and on psych meds, Phyllis. Memphis isn't that far from Alabama at that point. Not Memphis, Tennessee. Wait, wait. She was yeah, Memphis, Tennessee. It was the Mississippi River, right over the bridge over there. Oh, they are going to have a press conference tomorrow? Oh. Hmm. That suitcase looked heavy, too, didn't it? What'd you say? When she was walking, you know, how she was walking in with that suitcase? It kind of looked a little heavy. And you said she only stayed in there three hours? Mm Mm-hmm. And she texted him beforehand, and she called him when she was leaving. It was a roller bag, so, you know, she's just pulling the thing. But if she had a lot of trouble getting it out of her car, I don't know. Really, Diana? He looks like, yeah. Yeah, Diana, I agree. Hi, Sam Damley. Phyllis says he has hurt her deeply and she's torn, wanted to get away from him. And now what then between loving him deeply? Yeah, but that's conjecture. Mm. Mar- Marilyn Carter, the pastor's wife from Kansas. Wildlife, are you hearing any anything there? He said she was having trouble again. sleeping and wanted wow. to only talk to the therapist. She had to, oh. See, but see, it sounds like he's, why would he send her on her own like that? Yeah, very weird. Yeah, Diana, good point. Diana says, if you're going to jump off a bridge, why take your suitcase? I don't know. Maybe That's she had true. something in it, but I don't know. Spur of the moment. Hmm. Or made up story. They don't know where she is. They can't ask her. So he could be making it up. Phyllis, are, are, are you just, are you thinking this? Or did you hear that she was on and off again medication? Or is that? Oh, 
sunflower, even if she voluntarily committed herself out of state, the fact that they're looking for her in multiple states, any hospital would say, wait, she's okay, she's here. Eventually she would need gas if she's driving far enough. Yeah but, yeah, but there's a weird thing. Some lady said, now, you don't know, some lady said that she saw her in a gas station, she thinks it was her, and the woman said she can't, she doesn't have her debit card or anything anymore, and she asked her to borrow $10 for gas, and the lady gave her gas money and then $3, but who knows, maybe that's someone the husband put up to say that. True. You know, because we don't, we don't know, there's, why isn't there any surveillance footage from her in, the, in that gas station or something? Where she saw her on Monday. Yeah. This is weird. It says, um, let's see. Let's see this footage. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the The missing woman may be in emotional distress, according to her family. She was heading to Birmingham not only for a family visit, but also to seek mental health treatment. Authorities have mm -hmm. said she made some concerning statements to family members the night she vanished. She was seeking some mental health care, didn't want to go to any place in Kansas City, but she wanted to go to a place she was familiar with, her husband, Adam Carter, said. Okay. She's a graduate of... Sanford University Beeson Divinity School in Birmingham formerly served as a hospital chaplain in the city, her father said. Her brother-in-law, Brandy McLaughlin, said the family believes she reached out to either the University of Alabama Birmingham Hospital or Grandview Medical Center to set up her treatment. Marilyn's husband and three children, as well as our entire family, just want to know that Marilyn is safe, McLaughlin said. On Thursday, Leewood Baptist Church held a prayer gathering for Carter and her family in the church parking lot. Church officials have also set up a 24-hour round-the-clock prayer vigil. Um, yeah, but Adam Carter has been in Tennessee aiding in the search for his wife. She's a loving mother, a loving wife. We had a great relationship. I miss her terribly. I want her home. I want her home with our kids, Adam said. That sounds weird. We had a great relationship, you know, like, yeah, yeah that's like, yeah, that's suspicious. That's suspicious. Why do you, yeah. I don't know. He seems suspicious to me. Just me want, too. Okay, so, yeah. Who know? you know, like. It just doesn't seem right. And he being so open about this, where you would think a preacher wouldn't, right? Because some of them even, especially like, even look down on that. Like, why does she need mental health treatment, right? You know. Yeah, he's, he's trying to set the stage here, if you ask me, so. Yeah. And why wouldn't she go somewhere close by? Oh, she wants to go only here, you know. So then if she wanted, he makes it sound like, did she want to go there because it was private or because she knew somebody? But if it's because if it's private, he's blasting it all over the place, right? Right. And plus, a lot of people's health insurance, if she's going to get some kind of help, doesn't normally work in another state. You can't just go and, you know, say, here's my card. Mm -hmm. I mean, it works, but you know what I mean, not for something like that. Right, yeah. I'm just wondering, so someone said, good catch, fam, damnly. What was the good catch about this case? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with that? I put it inside the towel, too. Yeah, why are you doing that? <clears throat> you should go back to bed. How do we know he sent her? How do we know he sent her where? Tammy Praying Good Catch had past tense. He's a past tense, Carolyn. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think he had something to do with it. I think so too. Let me see what you said again. Let me read that. She's a loving mother, loving wife. We have a great relationship. I miss her terribly. I want her home. I want her home with our kids. Wait, no, he didn't. We have a great relationship. She's a loving mother, loving wife. I miss her terribly. I want her home. I want her home with our kids. Not there. Yeah. He, okay, he said she was seeking. There is, she was seeking some mental health care, and she didn't want to go to any place in Kansas City, but she wanted to go to a place she was familiar with. Her husband Adam Carter told KMBC. Mm. Her husband serves as a lead pastor of the Leewood Baptist Church in Leewood, Kansas. And he told KMBC in Kansas City that she spent about three hours at the hotel before getting back in her gray 2011 GMC Acadia. Carter was speaking to her husband when her cell phone apparently cut out. Good point, Diana. Why the heck go all the way to Alabama? No, she was going, her family lived in Alabama and supposedly alone, she was going to visit her family and seek mental health is what her husband said. Cops asked if she wanted to leave and he said no. I just think those marks on his face are yeah. troubling. Looks like scratching marks, clumps, you know, like there, one, there's one where they, they zoomed in, which I can't find, and they're like almost raised, almost like they're almost like getting infected. Like they oh, look like, like a welt? Yeah, they look like bug, like, first I thought like, wait, you know, what is going on with that? He's like, they were like scabbing up kind of it. Then they were raised. Oh. So. So they're fresh. And now, can you imagine what if they got infected? Like, I don't know. It's just really weird. Oh, that's possible. They stopped hanging at that, by that bridge. Tracy, that's the, that's the end. Oh, the pings by that bridge over that river. That's why they're focused on that river. Hmm. Maybe yeah. she tossed her phone out of the car. But they haven't found the car, and they would. It seems like they would find that car. I and see. eventually she would have to stay somewhere. I thought about the acne, too, I see. But it, it, they're exactly like in the same spot right here. And I said, maybe yeah, it's from terrible. a mask, but, you know, maybe it was from a mask. I don't know. You know, it's just weird. She had to stop for gas using, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Family is dragging the river, not the cops. Yet they have the volunteers doing it. What are the BB live? What are BB live streams? What are BB live streams? 
Lisa says, I wonder if Heather is watching BB live streams. I don't know, I don't know. They would not have looked swollen like cystic acne would. They haven't found the car. Well, I, no, hope, yeah. I hope she, they find her. I hope she comes. You know, the, they find her. Yeah, no, she's somewhere. I don't yeah. feel good about this, though. I don't either. Yeah. Hope they find her. <laughs> oh, BB is Big Brother? Oh, Big Brother All Stars? Apparently, I don't have any idea. I think you're right, Diana. Just found a video on his face close up again. Yeah, th there is one out there that's a real close up. And that you can really see it. Um, let's see. When did he make that? Let me see. That was two years ago today. Chris Watts? Yesterday, the 13th. Yeah, the 13th. Yesterday. Wow. Yeah. Two years ago, right? Yeah. Wow. That's the shit that she went missing that and then, then you had. Possible. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And then it was she went missing. He stayed at the house on the 13th. The 14th, they brought him down for questioning. They told him not to go home. He stayed with the uh, Jeremy people. Not Jeremy, uh, whatchamacall, Nick and uh, what's her name? The one that did the interview at that park, on that park bench. The, yeah, the bald guy, about. right? Mm -hmm. And then on the 15th is when he they got him. He went to jail. Yep. 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 A lot of good that did him. Right. Well, he was not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Mm. Or draw, as Carolyn. <laughs> draw. <laughs> My friend in Pennsylvania likes to hear me say car and anything with an R in it. How do you say it? Drawer. Oh, yeah. Drawer. You say it like me, drawer. You said draw. I drawer. said drawer. Drawer. Draw. Open the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. It depends. Open the drawer. Drawer. And this how to close it. <laughs> close the drawer. <laughs> That's true. It is. How many drawers does it have? Is it a three drawer dresser? <laughs> There's 263 people here. We need uh, to see some more thumbs up. Yes. They're very stingy with those. You know, save the life oh, of a kitten. Meow, meow, don't, don't let me die. Meow. A flying meow. squirrel. <laughs> oh, poor kitten. <laughs> Save the life of a kitten. Put thumbs up. <laughs> You're Come watching on, Big guys. Brother too, Nanette? Mm. I don't get out very much. Okay. Big Brother. Hey guys, I'm going to have to get off. All right, Caroline. 
Oh, so, don't feel bad. Ahead. Don't feel bad about I'm... Scooter saying all that stuff. <laughs> all right. Don't no, worry. Nothing against, against you. you. Have a lot of planning to do. I have a lot of planning to do. Okay, so I'll have Jimmy. I'll have Jimmy look tomorrow, and then we'll get back with you on some ideas. Okay, and I'll I'll, I'll tell the vet to plan for me to get the squirrel on Saturday night to see if that's okay with her. And then we'll decide from there, you know, what days are best. Yeah, and if you have it on Saturday night, maybe you could put the camera on it and we could see it on the video. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah that'd be awesome. Wave to it see if it takes I have a, a question, break. Carolyn. Yeah. About your drawers. Mm -hmm. Did you install the lights after the fact or did you buy them that way? The lights came all designed with the kitchen, and um, Jimmy actually did a lot of the installation of the lights himself. But they all—they're by Halfley. Have you ever heard of Halfley? And uh -huh. um, they're all integrated into the cabinets, so it was all designed that way with the cabinets. They're great. I've never seen anybody with lighted drawers before, this, this and I is, really like well, that. Well, the wood mode. This is the first time they ever had the Halfley that it was designed like with them in it you know from the get-go okay Carol I be talking to you soon all righty okay. I'm actually nice. getting very very excited yeah I think it's gonna be fun oh it is yeah yeah even if Scooter's gonna okay. be a little scared and then we'll get maybe um if we all get to stay at a hotel somewhere together Carolyn can bring her laptop and do a live from there, and we can sit there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. We can even do it. Yeah, I have stuff even to put the phone in. Oh, yeah, but I definitely would have my computer, too. All right. You think it's nice we all can right. sit out at a picnic table or something. Mm hmm And Scooter can act all scared and skittish. And... <laughs> like Lisa ate. Well, I'm going to get off the phone, too, because... My ambience kind of starting oh, to kick in, and all right. I don't oh, want to start like telling you the... Well, thanks for calling in. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> meowing. Yeah, Are poor you? kitty. Okay. <laughs> I can do a good cat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? Sound just like it. Thank you. That is a good one. <laughs> yeah. Good impression. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That just reminded of what me. I can. Go ahead. I can do. Okay, I'm gonna get off because otherwise I will start doing all. Well, I'll check that out. I don't Hold know. On. I don't know. Squirrel sounds. Let me check that out, Robin. So, no, okay. we had a doctor, Doctor Miller. He was a pediatrician up here in the summer, and we'd go to him, and he would always do that meow every time he like gave you a shot. He'd be like, "This, listen to the cat." Meow, and he and he'd go at you with a needle, oh. and then you'd like he he always did that meow thing. <laughs> so like get you on something else. We used to do it in the dorm because mm -hmm. we had all these nuns at school, and we you know one girl did the sound of the wind, and I did the cat, and so we did an owl, and we'd all get in trouble all you, the time you, for you, it. You you went to um, boarding school. I did. Oh wow! In Canada. Really. Yeah. Were you telling us that? Uh huh. Yep. Did you meet Sakura up there in school? No. No. Let me see. She said. No. Santa Maria. All right. Well, good night, everybody. Good night. Okay. I'll. Good night, Caroline. I'm so good. I can't Don't. wait to write your Jane. Okay. I'll keep in touch. Okay. Good night, okay. Carol. Bye. Good thanks. Night. Bye, Sharon. Okay. I'm getting off the phone, Bye, too, Sharon. because otherwise, gosh knows what I'm going to say next. So okay. it's best if I do that. <laughs> 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 Where in Canada? I was in Chatham, Ontario, Tracy. So south, southwestern Ontario-ish. Yes, Danielle, come. Okay, bye. Bye. I got a, like three balls here I'm going to open just to get rid of them. Okay, I was just looking at their, um, that's her sister, and that's the brother-in-law, I believe. 
on this. Yeah. There's not much that's public on their pages, though. And this is unfortunate that they put that right in front of the little child's face. Yeah, I want to look look them up. This looks very interesting. Mm -hmm. I made a video on it, too, for tonight. I, that's what I, yeah, I'm going to watch that, too. Mm. Hi, Crafts by Diane. Oh, your eyes are hurt. Those kids are so freaking cute, too. Mm -hmm. Look for her nails. You've been busy today putting up a lot of videos, lady. I know. We were supposed to have a turtle uh, tank video. Jimmy didn't get to that. Oh. Well, Anna Patty says she has, has balls. Oh, Lisa should be getting my... Um, Lisa should be getting my uh, package tomorrow. Nana Patty has balls. Nana Patty wants to come up. Did I put? Yeah, it, did, I, did, I, did, I, she said that. did I put the number in? In did I put it in there? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Oh, all right. You know this. Okay. Um, look, this is busted. It's busted. Put that in your water. Yeah. See on the see the Let me bottom see. right here. Hold on. This little piece. Oh wow! I've got to put that in the. I've got to get that letter written. Oh, Twitter. Okay. I have his Twitter. Yeah, I, I did see his Twitter. I did see his Twitter, Robin. Let me see. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Slack. Slack. A freaking Slack. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Slackity Slack. I want to get some more of those world's smallest. Yeah, models. me too, but uh, maybe... I don't know what I, I can't help anymore. Let me see. Hmm. I can read this now. That's it. You want a grumpy bear? I have three of them, I think. That sounds that sounded like um, Ariel from the Little Mermaid. You want a grumpy bear? I've got three of them. <laughs> 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 but who cares? No big deal. I want more. What is she? Who is your reminding? And then, no big deal. I know they've been up there a while, haven't they, Tina Bina? I know. What, the chips? Yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure they would have eaten them. Well, September 8th, this one's still. Fresh kill. September 28th for this one. <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> What's that word? Look, another one. Oh, metallic dumbo? Uh, dumbo. Mm -hmm. Metallic dum dums. Yeah. Gosh, I have a lot of these now, right? Yeah. Yes, I do. Did Lisa H. ever answer if she got that sunshine bear or whatever she got in the package, or did she buy it by itself? Oh, she didn't answer. That oh. I saw. I don't think she was in here. Oh, okay. So I have to ask her. Yeah. Where'd you get the fun shine, the sunshine bear, the yellow bear? Did you buy him by himself somewhere, or did you get him in a blind pack?
That was so sliced. Who still is talking to? What is behind you, Marilyn? Bakery cabinets or deli cabinet? Oh, she bought the blind pack and got the cheer bear. Marilyn. Marilyn. Oh, hold on, I gotta get Nan Patty in. One second. What okay. are you talking about, Phyllis? Who's Marilyn? Are you talking about Mar Mary Lane? I. That, that's Scooter, not Marilyn. You Scooter chick. I talked to you in chat last night. Nana Patty, look, I did get a, another. I saw that, you stinker. That's good. <laughs> yeah, but I just need those last two. Which ones? Remember the, uh, uh, I think it's the blue metallic, and then the, lit, the metallic wet ones. Yeah. I think that's the only ones I need. Yeah, I don't have the wet ones. Trying to get this ball open. <laughs> Hi, Danielle C and Gigi and Hi, Robin. What are what cabinets? Which cabinets? My cabinets? Are you talking to me, Phyllis? What are those cases? The balls. Phyllis, what cases? Yeah. But who cares, Sunflower? No big deal. I want more. They look all glass. Phyllis, which one of us are you talking to, Phyllis? No, she's not talking to me. Okay, good. She must be talking to Scooter. I think she thinks your window is a case behind you, Scooter. Oh, that's not, no, that's just an open area. It's all open. This is just a counter. Oh, it looks like deli cases. She thinks you're sitting at a deli. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she thinks you're at a deli. Tell them, I, I like a nice corned beef on rye. Just <laughs> tell the guy behind the counter. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just an open area. This is like a counter and it has some bar stools under it. One of Are these things, he's going to redo the chips that on whole top, yeah. kitchen. We'll have a nice kitchen. Chips on top. Scooter, are we taking turns or going at the same time or what are we doing? Whatever you want to do. I just opened one and that was my prize out of that. I got that metallic. I just got this silk effects. No, I'm pretty used to it, Phyllis. I kind of know what that is, but maybe because it's your first time, I, sometimes I see things that really aren't there. Yeah, and this is just a sheet, because this is a futon that I'm sitting on. And <laughs> this is a sheet. <laughs> this can lay down. She says, not the open area. You're not getting what she's saying, sad face. That's a couch. Yeah. Well, Ivy Lynn, I haven't done that so far. I'm trying not to. I wanted to get them all on my own. I know it might sound silly, but I just got this thing about it. I keep saying, you know, I'm going to start selling them. And I am. I just 
haven't gotten them all together and taken pictures and put it up in that group. Oh, you know that lady that we watch once in a while, well, that one, you know, that I told you about, I know you don't watch yeah. her, but did you see where she got, you know, a box of brand, mini brands, rolled to death because she got a gold shake saying that's her first rare one ever. I don't know if I believe that. Oh, I don't believe that. And then she got a, what is it? Um, a white uh, Mentos and she was excited. Oh, I think this is one of the rare ones. And was it an old, old, was it an old video you were watching? No. That's so weird because she's opened off. cases and cases yes, of those. You know, she's opened cases of them and cases of them. I know. Maybe she's just fooling around for people, like wanting people to think that or something. Maybe. That's what I thought. Maybe she's a faker. Could be a faker. No, Diana, you're right. That's what the companies want. You're right. Hi, Davida. It's a sheet, Phyllis. You've never seen us on the big screen? Are you watching on the big screen, Phyllis? I'm Phyllis, I mean, I mean, Davida, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, Davida. You're Davida. just excited about the squirrel. I know. And I think Scooter's, I think poor Caroline Connor is like, Scooter hates me. No, no she joking. understands. It's just me. It wouldn't that would be hard. Huh? That would be hard to be in the car that long with somebody that you don't know. Okay, so you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just going to be, you know, I'm thinking, okay, should I try to learn a topic? <laughs> <laughs> you need to bring a trivia game with you? <laughs> Uh, something for entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll learn the history of Rome. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. That would, I would go running for the hills if that if I brought that out. <laughs> I would. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, that ancient, ancient, ancient civilizations. <laughs> not, for, not for me. Not me, not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And my second one is a little basket. Oh, okay. Very good. good. Already got it put together. All right. <sighs> Robin's one. Bring your cards. Oh, well. oh. <laughs> but see, the thing with Caroline is, she is a hairdresser. Right, so she's very good. Yes, at, yes. At talking she can about keep stuff. a conversation oh, yeah. going. Right. And when, when we met that one day for her to do my hair, we hit it off. I was comfortable with her. And she was just, you know, she told me about her family. I told her about my family. You know, and it was really comfortable. And she's one of those two that can tell a good story. You oh, know, yeah. kind of like you, how you can tell. Yeah, she you know, told she told me a good story a while ago about some some weird person that was texting her. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Yeah. That was a long time. That was like yeah. last year, or something. Yeah. Wasn't it? Right. Yeah. Oh, you guys hear that little cricket? Yeah. There's a little black one in here. I know. It's... I didn't want to kill it, though. I did see it. But I just left it. He has a right to live, too. Uh, Davida Lane. Um, Carolyn's getting a flying squirrel. <laughs> that so Caroline funny. Connor got from had access to and we live by each other and we're gonna meet Carolyn and Jimmy and her kids somewhere 
deliver it to her. It's so funny because it sounds so it's fake, out. right? Doesn't it sound like such a joke? Like Carolyn's getting a flying squirrel. <laughs> right? It sounds like, okay, that's so funny. <laughs> Carolyn yeah. Connor found because we had talked about that flying squirrel uh, chain, remember? Like all the way up from the south, like Florida, we said we'd they'd pass it off, be like a relay race. Uh, yeah, and it's funny that it's like a year later. And... Let me see what Nanette's I mean. Nanette wants to come along. <laughs> I, I just decoupage that. Look at that. Did you really? I did. I just did it right now, right in front of you. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. It's the top of a box. Wow. Okay, Nanette H says, that's why I was nervous when I met Carolyn. It's exciting and surreal. I ran into the clothing section. I was so nervous. Yeah, she ran. Right, she Carolyn? did. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, she did. Well, I know she was because she was messaging me. <laughs> she really was. I, I don't know what to do. They're going to be here and I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm like, calm down. It's okay. It'll all work out. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I said, but I understand. I'd be feeling the same way. Peanut butter. Jelly. Spam. That was my last ball. Or that first ball. And then Tresemme. Okay. <laughs> they don't think I would be the kind of talk about the history talk. of Rome or ancient civilization. No. I, I, you talk about like the, um, oh, like the drama, drama, like not, not, not channels on here, but like the tabloid stuff. <laughs> well, when we met, we didn't talk about anything on, you know, YouTube. Nobody, you know, other than you, you know, of course, we didn't mention you, but that was it. So I'm looking forward to hearing her stories. So I know she's has, you know, some really good ones. You probably got some good ones too, Scooter. Well, yeah, but I mean, she she's traveled the world. She's got she knows people, relatives yeah. and stuff in different countries and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Can you imagine if, like, we're, like, in, within, like, five minutes of meeting each other and Scooter gets out of the car and leaves the door open and the flying squirrel goes somewhere missing? And then, oh, after all that time, and then she's like, what am I going to do? Oh, my God. They came all this way. This. We're going to have to find another one before we meet them. Uh. Oh, <laughs> don't even, don't even joke about that. <laughs> what a nightmare. Oh, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. It's going to be in some kind of a small cage, <laughs> Maybe, I'm assuming. And Caroline would be like, did you leave the door open? Yeah, but I thought it couldn't fly yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That would be so crazy. Yeah, that well, would that's be. Right, Alicia. Yeah. Very true. I could bring my whole collection of mini brands. <laughs> <laughs> Sorting them in the car. Caroline, I have six of these. <laughs> <laughs> and now you want to know what I have in this case? It's five airheads. <laughs> like my 30 warheads. Yes. <laughs> and it, would be, it would be so funny if Caroline gets here and she goes like this. Scooter was worried about what she'd talk about. She never shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right? She's like, my head is ready to freaking explode. <laughs> <laughs> I can't drive back with her. I can't, Carolyn. You're going to have to take her with you. Her husband will come sometime to pick her up. I can't go back with her. <laughs> That would be oh, too funny. Right? That would be so funny. 
That would be. She gets to say, hello, I go, hi. And I start <laughs> Tell me again what you were nervous about, Scooter, the conversation. <laughs> Why don't we just listen to the radio and be quiet for a minute, play the quiet game? <laughs> oh, my God. I would, I would probably do something like that because I'd be right. so nervous not wanting to be boring. <laughs> and Scooter would be like, this really worked out good, didn't it? We have lots of what to talk about. And our head is probably exploding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god somebody wants to know if they really fly or if they glide we glide they glide there is some guy that takes them up to a football field and they they drop them off this thing and they show you that they glide they don't yeah they're not you know they glide from tree to tree and stuff cool <laughs> oh my god <laughs> wet ones You want to see something crazy? crazy? On all these, do her. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh wow. That's falling out. I'm going to have to get another bag. Wow. It's crazy. Yes. Hello, Scout and Choir. Yeah, hi, Scout and Choir. Hi, Scout and Choir. Oh. I went to Walmart the other day on my little outing and they had a whole end cap of balls. Yeah. Did they? Yeah, I was in shock. I was like, a whole end cap. Yeah, I think that, you know what they must be doing? They must be trying, maybe they have like a surplus now and they're trying to get them out before the new ones come out. Could be. Oh, you yeah, got a white one? Yeah, I interest. I got a green one. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what would be so funny? If you would like keep saying to her, hey, wait a minute, can we stop here? There's a Walmart. Can we just stop first to check if they have balls? Like every single stop. Just tell her, just, just, you'll only be five minutes. It's not going to take that much longer. She's going to be like, Scooter, we're going to be there. So no, 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 no. I'm just going to check in. I've never been to this Walmart. <laughs> That would be funny. Yeah. Scooter. That poor thing should be a nervous wreck and cussing under her breath by the time we right. got there. <laughs> Anything good yet? Nope. Spam and suntan lotion. But if I was her, I'd have so much fun with you after that thing. I'd just be like, uh, have her bag like rigged with a whole bunch of stuff and then be like, Scooter, could you go in there and get some mints? I have some mints in there. And then, like, just have all this weird stuff in there. Like, uh, like, 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 like something, like a diagram of her strangling you or something. And then, like, like all this kind of stuff in there. Like, a rope. Oh, gosh. I would have so much. That would be so funny. And just see what, you know, like, can you go in there? I think I put them on the bottom. Did the mints and you're like a pair of scissors, like really sharp scissors. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I have one more. Now that's it. What's up, Phyllis? Oh, I have two more, I mean. I got more peanut butter. What's up, Did Phyllis? Did you? Peanut butter and spam. What's up, tonight? Phyllis? I got spam and bacon. Tell me what's up, Phyllis. I, I'm a, you're an artist, Phyllis. I'm being an artist right now. I'm decoupaging. You should be proud of me. Never go on a trip with Oh, yep, yep. well, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Have you chosen a name? No, not yet. I think that would be so funny, though. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Tell Kim. Yeah, you would come up with a lot of things. Oh, I would. I, I would have much. so much stuff for her. What to, what to put in her bag and what to ask you to go get, and then just watch your face and be like, "What? You didn't see it? Why do you look like that? 
are you saying there's something strange about my bag? And then you'd be like, no, because you don't want to get her upset. <laughs> so then, uh, oh my gosh. And then she'd be like, I think we should just go to this rest area for a little bit. Just go sit on the picnic tables and just take a little relax. <laughs> and you'd be like, I'm not going to go out of the car. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That would be so funny. Oh, as in Rocky. Uh, my, my, yeah, there, a lot of people name them Rocky. My other one was Gippy John Jones. That's cute. Yeah, for that little, because there was, that, I think it was in a book, and I believe it was a flying squirrel. At least I told myself. But it is a boy, so maybe, maybe Rocky. Hi, the Brian clan. Hi, the Brian clan. Scooter said you used to have a flying squirrel, but you gave them away when you moved. <laughs> you had you had a collection of them. I think she had like seven or eight of them. <laughs> I think she was. You said she was a breeder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then she gave them all away. Right, because she moved. She, she moved and she yeah. couldn't take them. You know, <laughs> couldn't take the pets there. Nope. No pets allowed. <gasps> what are you sorry about, Phyllis? Did you leave me your... Oh, number of PF. Did you yeah. did you send me your number, um, Phyllis? I've got to give I've got to give it to Pia, and then hold on, I'll go in there and now and, and see if you if I've got it. And Pia, I'll put my address in Slack for you. I found I saw where you messaged. I just haven't been on there today at all. Yeah, I've been a little crazy at myself. Okay. It'll live indoors, Nanette. Yeah, Nanette in a cage inside. It's a flying squirrel. Illy and, and uh, Barbasol. Did you say chili? You got chili, I got Barbasol. Oh. Dove and Dinty Moore. Dinty Moore. Okay, Phyllis, I'm going to go check. We are lagged from them big time. We are lagged from who big time, Phyllis? It's I got one of your baskets Phyllis, like you did last time. If you think this is frustrating, yeah. you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> she said, it's, we're lagging big time. This is really frustrating. And I said, if she ain't seen nothing yet. She thinks this is frustrating. I see, I sent you my info. I found a public phone number, Phyllis, but don't know if I have the correct one. Okay. All right. Okay. Phyllis, your public phone number, Pia, said she has that. Is that, it's 305 Web Store. Is that what you have? She, and so don't worry about it, moderators. Phyllis doesn't care because her, she has her number out there. It's her business number, so don't get freaked out that you have to delete it. She has it all over the place. Is is that what you have, Pia? <laughs> you can chew today doing furniture. This is why I lost track of time. Um, is that is that what you have, Pia? She's still lagging. Mm -hmm. I'm checking with Pia, Phyllis. Uh, okay. Um, oh, it's the mods. Yeah, you think, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. They just do that to protect you, Phyllis, because it could be dangerous, you know, just putting your number out there on the internet, you know? You gotta be careful. No issues checking the numbers now. So, okay, you check that 
Okay, she says it's 9327827. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 305 area code on that. 305. And that's business number? Yeah, 932-7827 is Phyllis's number. Okay, 305 area code. <laughs> Pia, hey, I'm old. Well, Don't she's saying web <laughs> store. You know, I think she means like <laughs> go like a web store, 9 for W, 3 for E. You know that? Phyllis, I'm Pia. The old uh, Pez. Oh yeah, 305-932-7827, Pia. More Tresemme. It's her everything number. Call her. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Hockey. <laughs> okay, Pia. Pia's got it. She it works. Why don't you give her a call? Call now and see how that works. <laughs> Just see if it works. You know, you want to test it out while we're here. Because if you can't reach her, then we can call her. We can tell her you can't get her. <laughs> Have you ever done decoupage, Phyllis? Robin Swan, you're cracking me up. I'm doing. I'm doing um, decoupage. Got it. She got it. Okay, so P has got the number, Phyllis. She's gonna give you a call. Oh, right. <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> She'll be up. You'll be up another twenty hours, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Peel stay up that long. Too slow alarm. Yeah. Well, we can. We we all. You know. We can't. <laughs> Do you read Pia's? Pia's got, uh, let me catch my breath. We'll do, but it goes right. Oh, she's getting your voicemail, Phyllis. Your phone's going right to voicemail. Pia can't get a hold of you. She goes, <laughs> Phyllis says, I know. Heard that five minutes ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sunflower Brown says, can we all call Phyllis now then? <laughs> yeah, everybody could check the number. Phyllis, is that okay if everybody checks the number? Just make sure that it works. We have a seven hour delay, Danielle said. <laughs> Twinkies. Twinkies. My last one here. Come on, it's got to have both of them in here, right? You guys didn't get anything. You got the metallic dum dums, but did you get nothing else? I no. haven't. And not you, Nana Patty? No. Wow. I got some mayonnaise. Oh, man. Mayo, mayo. Which one? The good one? Yeah, the big oh. one. Another spam and another peanut butter and another shaved cream. Oh. Dude, this has to be it. This is the last call. There's probably none of that other Walmart I'm going to. Uh, I need the metallic. Good luck, guys. Ones. I wish you well on that business venture together. And the blue metallic. Maybe all it's a telly. I'm on metallic. It's so funny because when we were kids at the um, Bacon. the other house, right? At like home, we didn't have um, like a counter where you could eat, you know, like we just had a kitchen table. But at this house, you know, it's got that, uh, what you call the bar, the counter. 
And when we would come up, we would always act like we were in a restaurant because it had like five stars. So then we would always play like a restaurant with that, you know, and pretend we were at the, uh, like a diner counter. Yeah. It was like, yeah. So we would play restaurants. So you could play restaurant with Dave. (laughs) (laughs) Dave. (laughs) Have a little bell. Have that little bell. (laughs) Can you get my sandwich? (laughs) Oh my gosh. Did, did um, Phyllis hear my question if she's ever tried decoupage? Phyllis? Lisa H. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what, she played that game? <laughs> oh, Lisa H. was saying she needs a drag on something. She wish she had it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nana Patty here for you. Oh, my goodness. Those purple ones. Phyllis, have you ever done decoupage? Is Phyllis hearing me? You I have think called she her three times today? Has she answered? Oh, she's booting up her phone, Pia. When, Pia, when you get her, can you ask her if she's ever ha- if she's ever done decoupage? Another spam light. Twinkies for you. Oh, you answered me? You have done it? Ten minutes ago, she said. She's booting up. She's booting up. Don't you girls stay on the phone all night now. (laughs) Wet ones. That's just the wrong ones. Sour spray. Not, Not special. Uh-huh, the Brian plan that's cute. Oh my gosh, another peanut butter? Really? Yeah. That's like four. Oh my goodness. And look at this. Another spam. Oh, yeah. And another shave cream. We'll do. I'm yes, not we'll Okay, do. just slow. Okay, Pia. Let me know. Only thing I have patience for. Oh, really? Okay. So make this. You want to open more, or Brian? If you want to open more, Patty. I have no more to open now. Oh, no, I'm done. So, Phyllis, then making me one of those big flamingos for the yard is out of the question then, right? I don't know. I mean, Scooter and I can come down and pick it up. (laughs) And we could meet Moo. Yeah. Moo would go with. She would. (laughs) <laughs> Danielle her phone is a go Pia Phil call 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 yeah her phone is on now Pia she got it up. she was booting it up Moo is probably yeah probably Get a flatbed truck and six guys? No problem. You got it. You need about three months. You need about three months for one of those? (laughs) Moo could put it in her yard until we could pick it up, too. She's got a lot of guys around that'll run down and pick that up, up, bring it up by her. I 
I really like the flamingo. Laugh. She said what? Phyllis says laugh, L-8, and then a whole oh. bunch of L's. Oh, okay. I really want the flamingo. It would be a real conversation piece around here, Phyllis, because everybody has the Woodstock birds, and I don't mean from Snoopy, but I mean from, um, they're these, I think I took a picture of them once, the special for the Woodstock, you know, the concert site. There are these, like, uh, really funky-looking birds, but I would be the only one with that funky flamingo. Okay, I'm going to open one more. All right. Yeah, see the um, balls by at the two different Walmarts I went to? Mm hmm You know, the patty. One yeah. had that huge uh, display like you were talking about. And then yeah. when I went back there a few days later, yeah. they were down to just a few boxes. Really? Did they yeah. have any Littles? Mine had Littles and those big, big display of Littles and a big display of those balls. Well, they had Littles. There wasn't a huge display that I no noticed, but they did have Littles, different kinds. Alicia Scoots, where is the Irish girl from last night? Oh, <laughs> the Irish girl. Yeah. That was so cute. She's, she's probably sleeping. I think she's do practicing her um her dancing. Probably. I see what you're writing, the Brian clan. The Brian clan's causing trouble? Oh, always. Weird. I figured. More Twinkies. Oh, wow. More shade boring. Oh, you, I thought you got something good. No. Just more shade cream. It's crazy. <laughs> uh oh. -uh. Another spam. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh uh. Another peanut butter. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness. And the deli is on the phone. I repeat, the deli is on the phone. Mandy Hall, Sunflower Brown saying that. Oh. <laughs> did I have, did P ever get uh, Phyllis, you think? No kidding, Diana Mulroney. Yeah, same here. Can't wait. That'll be nice. I don't know. I think you said she was going to wait a little bit to oh, call her. Tia? Yeah. I think she... You better check right away, Pia, though. Make sure that she's available. That's, That's my, my cricket, cricket Sandy Boss. Cricket here in the living room. She has a nice pet cricket. She calls him, <laughs> she calls him Jiminy. <laughs> he tells her he's kind of like her conscience. <laughs> okay, I've got different balls here. I'm going to open one of these. you got different balls? What, what is, is it? it? I don't know. I'm going to open one more ball. Oh, oh. Like three pack things. I guess did you order that, that three pack thing? Yeah, I ordered two of them. Jimmy. 
We have, have to, to get, get something good, good now. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, y'all. We yeah, are so happy having a private conversation. conversation. Oh, yeah, they're probably talking up a storm. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly. I can't believe how talented she is. I know. I love the flamingo. I hope she really makes me one. Oh, that would be amazing. I know. Is it lagging, Mandy? How bad do you think it's lagging? There's always a little delay. Hi, Mandy. How? What did you say? said it's chat is lagging a little bit. Ah. <laughs> Sunflower Brown. Who's going to call Phyllis after Pia? I'm taking sign up here. <laughs> she might need, uh, yeah, hopefully Pia can get that, uh, get her help with that. And she really is looking forward to working with um, Phyllis. Phyllis even offered to, you know, to pay for it. Pia said no. No better. No? Really? You know yeah. what we don't get a lot is the butter. You know, they really skimped on the butter. They did, didn't they? Yeah. They really did. Hardly a anybody pulls the butter. Uh-uh. I, I don't know why they're so skimpy with the butter. Maybe they had to pay like more for that license or something and they can only make a certain amount. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Glenn. <laughs> Pia Pill says my sound is off so I can hear Phyllis. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. Are you guys having a good conversation? Robin Swan, that's cute. Oh, it'd be awesome to have her show us how to do something one night. That's right. Yeah. Something we didn't have to have a bunch of equipment for. Mm hmm Yeah, right. Just breaking some stuff. Dishes she makes jewelry, so maybe she could do something on jewelry making. Yeah, the clay bead she makes. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, I didn't even know anything about that in Indiana. Kanye's signatures. What does that mean? Were people wanting him here to run for president or something? Why, is Kanye from there? Not that I know of. Oh. Wait, he's from Chicago, isn't he? I have no idea. I don't I believe know. he is. Pia, yeah, what's she saying? Oh, you can't hear. What did Pia want to help her with? Oh, I think her eBay listings and stuff. Oh. Hi, Pipple. Oh, yeah, Tracy Claus said yes for him to run. <laughs> he 
you guys want another riddle at all? Sure. Yeah, but Patty, I have a feeling you're good at it. Huh? A riddle? Well, I'm not very good at them. <laughs> oh, come on now. I didn't get any the other night. Clan told me that she got every one of these riddles right. That she was? That they bought, yeah, she said that they had all these cards. Oh, right. You know? every, every one of them. She <laughs> said there were rough sets you didn't even have. That's what she said. Yeah, she said they were super easy. So she gave them to the neighbors. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I can I kind of imagine her just saying that and doing that. Been. been hanging out with the men. Ah. Scooter? Is Scooter getting us a riddle? Yeah, I think she's looking for wow, it. Wow, she doesn't even know if she put anything. Those would probably be really good at these riddles. Yes, she would be. Well, she's going to end up getting every single one. I don't think she's in the chat anymore. I think she's talking to Pia, though. Is she? Yeah. I think she would be really good at them. No, I meant the Brian plan. Oh, no. I mean, I mean, um, Phyllis. Phyllis, yeah, she yeah, would be. I think she would be. Got my Kavita. Oh, you got, I got my Kavita too, the same one. The same one? Yeah, see? These are the same ones I bought that first time. I've never bought any more yet. Mm. I just spilled some paint on my really good yoga pants, my really good ones. So I gotta take it off. <laughs> they're, they're mine. Okay. Really good Brian ones. Brian Clan. Where did I put my stuff? She's gonna try to show off. She's probably gonna look everything up on Google. How about this one? What? <clears throat> I won't look either. Promise. Um, why is it better to have round manhole covers than square ones? Because a square one wouldn't cover the hole. Round manhole covers. Than the square one, than square ones. I just uh, kombucha, kombucha. You have a wiener dog. You oh gosh, really? My son ha has a a dachshund. 
That dog is so cute that he has. It always reminds me of the dog from Two Stupid Dogs. Anything good yet, Nana Patty? No. Daniel says, Daniel C says, to fit better, Tina Bina, the holes are, are wrong. Uh, Diana says, stronger. I know, I haven't looked, I promise. Why is it better to have round manhole covers than square ones? Because the holes are round. For big bellies. Okay, I'm gonna read the... Yeah, a lot of them are just saying round like you are. Let's see what it is. A round manhole cover can't fall down. A round manhole cover can't fall down the hole it covers. What? Yeah, it can. Just as much as a square as you would. Maybe no, because when they're round, then the diameter in the middle, it won't let it fall down the hole. Some of these seem so stupid. <laughs> you sound like a little kid that gets it wrong. Well, that was stupid. That's why. It's just stupid. That's all. <laughs> so dumb. Anybody could do it. Okay, here's another one. Here's the question. Work that brain now. Remember, it's good. Good for you. Okay. This is a brainy elixir. A woman had two sons who were born on the same hour of the same day mm -hmm. of the same year. Okay. Twins. How, could, how could this be so? Okay, I think I know this one. So they were born on the same day and the same hour. Oh, yeah, because um, they're not saying the same date. They're same day. So one... Yeah, that's, that's possible. No, they said of the same year. Right. The same day and year, but not the same date. So she could have one, you know, in January, and she could have another one in December. So the same day would be like a Tuesday or something? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, teacher. See, I always wanted to be one, Delphine, so I can pretend like I am tonight. So you could what? Uh, she says, now, now, teacher. And you said, I always wanted to be one, so I could what? I, was, I can be one tonight. I've oh, always wanted oh, to be I, a teacher. Oh I, thought you, oh, I thought you said so you could do, okay. Only so I could yell at the kids. You, you had to yell at them? Out. Yeah, put yeah. them in time out. Right, no, we can wait. I always like the one. We, I can wait as long as you can, and we'll just wait. <laughs> I always like, I, we'll wait. I've got all the time in the world. We'll just wait. Or as they say, do you do that at home? They used to ask kids like that. They put their foot on, the, you know, like, oh, do you do that at I home? And then so many would be like, yeah, we, I do. And then the teacher just look, looking at them like, what? Wendy's loving the crickets tonight. Oh, they're just lovely when you're trying to sleep. Oh, but no, in the bedroom, there's not any, and I have a fan going anyway. But it is a I nice think, um, I think it's right. right. What? Triplets. They're triplets, I think. That's what Mandy Hall put. Wait, say it again. Diana's saying that too. No, um, say it again. A woman had two sons who were born on the same hour of the same day of the same year, but they were not twins. How could this be so? Oh, okay, yeah, that would work too, yeah. They were triplets, they could be quadruplets, they could be quintuplets, right? Sextuplets? Yeah, I think you guys, I think they're right. <laughs> Robin Swan wants to know. Alicia's saying one was adopted. No, she said born, Alicia. Okay, here we go. Trisha, Tracy Kloss, 
Yeah, you missed the riddle. I'll read it one more time. A woman who had two sons who were born on the same hour of the same day of the same year, but they were not twins. How could this be so? I'm going with, with you guys and say triplets. Yes. They were two of a set of triplets. Wow. Diana and Mandy got that one. Interestingly enough, not the Brian clan. Hmm. <laughs> I think she uh, took off. Really? I think so. Maybe she didn't feel like she could compete. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Diana and Mandy were great. Okay, Paul married two women without divorcing either. Neither woman committed bigamy or died. Explain. Okay, Danielle, you too. Good night, Danielle. Yes. Good night, Danielle. Paul married two women without divorcing either. Neither woman committed bigger bigamy or died. Explain. Well, wouldn't he be the bigamist and not the women? Or he married two women. Right. But what without say it again? divorcing. Yeah, he married two women without right. divorcing either. Okay. Neither woman committed bigamy or died. Explain. Okay. Ne neither one died and neither okay. So neither one died. Neither just the women. I don't mention the man. A man married two women. And he didn't divorce either one. Right. Neither one died. Or committed bigamy. Or committed bigamy. Explain. Man married two women. Well, the two said he's the bigamist, the ladies are not. That's what I think, too, Mill. Moose here. Yeah, I see that. Moo, you should call in. You're really great at this. And Diana and Mandy, those are good. Okay, Tina Bina says he was a preacher. Oh, well, he married them. Married two women. He married yes. them. Yes, Tina yes. said that, Diana. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I'm looking because that's got to be it. Oh, my gosh. How are they so smart? Are they cheating? Do you, do you think they're cheating? Do you think they're cheating? <laughs> I don't think they are. You don't think they are? No. Paul is a pastor who conducted two weddings. Gosh, you guys are good. I don't know. Uh -huh. I think they might be cheating a little bit. <laughs> you shouldn't have let them see the name of the cards. <laughs> okay, can you divide a cake into eight pieces? Yeah. With, with three cuts. Cut it all the way across. Yeah, one, two, three, right? A round cake. Divide a cake into eight one, pieces two, with four, three cuts. One, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Two. They're not going to be two, even. Three, four. I'm only coming up with six. Well, because I'm thinking we cut a pizza because I cut a lot. Of one, that when you cut a pizza, it's it's one, two, three, four. It's four cuts. You have eight slices. Okay, so can you divide a cake in? This is it. No, then maybe the answer is no. What does it say? What was the answer? Can you divide a cake into eight pieces with three cuts? No. Is this the answer? No. 
But unless you go like this, let me see. One. Wait a minute, and then if you like this. Oh wait, yes, you can't, wait a minute. One, no, that would be, if you cut it in half, and then you made a cut here, and a cut here, you'd have six still. Tina Pina says yes. Nicole Griffith, 45 degree cuts. Diana, yes, and overlapping. Triangle. Yay, Alma is here. Why don't one, we hear the crickets a little more? One. Yes, you can, yes. Two. Don't be said no. Wait a minute. I, hold on a minute. I've got to draw this. I'm, not looking. I'm, not looking I'm a very this. visual person. Hold on. I am too. Well, if you don't pick the knife up, I guess you could cut it two, any, in any amount you wanted two, to. Three, four, five, six. Hold on. Because it just said slices. One. Oh, wait a second. I think I found the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, six still. Hold on. Yes, cut cake in half. Yes, cut cake in half first. Yeah. Then cut top two cuts. Cake in half and then top two cuts. Now remember, guys, these are riddles, and sometimes they fool you, too. It might not be what That's you're thinking. That's still six um, pieces. Hi. It doesn't sit around hey, or the, square. Hey, the Irish girl is here. Is she? The Irish girl is here. And you think she'll know this? Well, I don't know if she'll know it, but I just somebody asked about the Irish girl. Hi, Lisa D. Okay, I'm just going to look. Okay, I think Sleeping Beauty has this right. What? Kind of. Yeah. First, divide the cake into four. Into four? With two cuts. Right, okay. Then cut the cake horizontally by splitting the bottom and top part. Okay. Are you doing that with the paper to show? Because I still don't get it. Yeah, but I'm still only getting six slices that way. Jimmy would be really good at this. I'm not getting this. Cut it into four. Right. With two cuts. Right. It's like a cross on the cake. Four. Four, four sections. Then cut the cake horizontally. Yeah. By splitting the bottom and top part. So it's a double layer cake and you're taking the top part off. Yeah, well that's wrong because how do you know it was a double yeah. layer cake first of all? That's, that's sneaky. Mm -hmm. Sleeping Beauty and Diana was on the right track, too. And you wouldn't even have to cut that because if it was a layer cake, it would already be a layer and you could just take it off. You wouldn't have to cut it even. No. Separate the layer. So that's sneaky and that's wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am impressed that you guys can't even think of this stuff. I really am. My brain just won't do that. It hasn't worked in so long. And that's not even the right way to serve a layer cake. I would be so pissed if someone broke up a layer that, cake like that. Yeah, and you wouldn't get the icing in the middle and stuff. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. I would be pissed about it too. <laughs> Me too. I've been a, I've been a uh, member here for so long that I haven't used my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? I'm saying that. Oh, you're saying that. <laughs> We use our brains a lot. We use our brains a lot solving those crimes. We were just trying to think why that lady would do that stuff. We use our brains. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. No, you guys are good, though. I'm impressed. Oh, Mandy Hall says it said three cuts. I already ate it two pieces, so now I'm not sure. 
Pitbull said he already ate two pieces, and so now he's unsure. <laughs> <laughs> Robin Swans, man. Why? Okay, you guys would like, your guys are going to like this one. Someone falls out of a 30-story building but lives without any luck or landing pad. How could he have survived the fall? So it just says someone, someone fell out of a, someone? Is that what it says? Can you read it again? Scooter? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I got a call. Oh, I know. What if he just fell into like the fire escape or the, the deck? He fell out of a 30 story window, but they didn't say he fell to the ground. What if there was a fire escape right under him or something? Let me see if my sound will go back up. Your sound is up. It totally cut out. We can hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? It's like you're whispering. Oh, yeah. Huh? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> um. Dang. I'm gonna have to call. What did you say about the Brian clan? What's wrong? Why won't it? I got a telephone call and it cut out my sound. Telephone call this hour? Who was it, Pia? <laughs> <laughs> Telephone it call. was somebody messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so far away now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. I wish you would read we, the question okay, again. Okay, I'll read it again. Yeah. I'll give you a clue. No, don't give us a clue. Just read right it. Now, just, laughing just... with six laughs. Six faces laughing. Someone falls out of a 30-story building but lives without any luck. Without any luck or a landing pad. How could he have survived the fall? Oh, because he... I think well, I know I... the answer to this one. Yeah, yeah. because... First, I said, uh, I thought you said he fell out of the 30th story, but you don't specify. I'm going to have to hang up and call you right back. Sorry. Oh, Scooter. Wait, let me mute. All right. Unmute. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Can you still dial zero and get the operator? I don't think so. Can you? I don't know. Who did even? Yeah. I don't know. Why don't you try it and let us know? I have to put my I have to put my uh, brush in water up right there. I'll be right back. What's going on? Scooter messed up everything. Oh, now it's Scooter's mm. back. Oh my gosh, Scooter. Okay. Where is she? Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, Scooter. Hey. Okay. It's perfect now. All right. Good. Um, the people are saying so he fell out of the first floor yeah because you didn't specify the floor right so he could have fallen out of any floor the first or second out the front door oh yeah okay let's see yeah you guys are right he fell out of the first floor window hmm. that wow. was see, i was gonna, gonna say it was it was a woman or a different person i don't know <laughs> I was a woman. 
doesn't even make sense. I know it doesn't. <laughs> oh gosh, Scooter. Caroline's going to have a fun time with you in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll be like, what was it that Scooter said that she, she didn't want to ride with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Carolyn. <laughs> You're going to have to take her home with you. <laughs> <laughs> she got to get a bus ticket home. <laughs> I'm sure Dave will come pick her up soon. <laughs> She'll say hi, hand you the squirrel. <laughs> She'll take off while you're in the bathroom. <laughs> She'll be cackling as she goes away like, you thought I was going to be bad. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, you guys did that answer, right? That it was mm -hmm. the ground. He fell out of the first floor window. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Oops, I accidentally saw the answer to this one. There are 10 birds perched on a fence. A farmer aims his rifle and shoots one. How many birds are left? He aims his rifle and he shoots one, but did he hit it? And then they probably all ran away anyway when they heard the shot. I say zero. Zero. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Deborah Vancouver. <laughs> They're not going to stay there when they. Uh, two scooter. I say Indiana is Route 80. I'm in Tinley Park, Illinois. Well, we might get to meet sometime. Who is that? Who is that? That's um, Patricia Fassett. Oh, oh to no, me. she's in Pennsylvania, but she's here now, I think. She's just here. Oh, okay. I thought you, okay. Hey, maybe Patricia could take the squirrel back. No. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably coming back this way to PA. <laughs> when, are you coming, when are you coming back, Patricia? She's going to be there a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, whoever said one, the other birds startled and flew away. Oh, I, they, so. the answer was one? Yep. How? The dead. The dead bird's going to stay one. on the porch? The on the perch? Yeah, the dead one. He shot it. Yeah, but it's gonna it's gonna stay on the it's gonna isn't it gonna fall to the ground? Well, yeah, but it's still there because it didn't fly away. Oh. Patricia, you can't do that, right? Patricia, <laughs> Patricia when are you coming back? The 19th. The 19th. You're going back to PA on the 19th? The 15th is Saturday. That's Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You're going the long way, though, aren't you? Like to first to Florida? <laughs> So, yeah, that would be really inconvenient for you. <laughs> How can you doing? play? Huh? What is she doing up there? Is she visiting a college? Oh, she, that's what it was. Yes, for her daughter. daughter. Yeah. Yeah, because they were going to look at the University of Chicago. And. Oh, she has room in the suitcase, she said. Yes, room in the suitcase. Needs to breathe. Hmm. 
Good night, Nanette. Put a bunch of holes Good night, in your Nanette. suitcase. Good night, Nanette. How can you place a pencil on the floor so that no one can jump over it? Huh. How could you put a pencil on the floor so that no one can jump over it? Put it in the corner. Oh, yeah, you're pretty yeah. good at that, Patty. I bet you're right. Well, put it next to a wall. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Brian Clan give you the answer? Yeah. <laughs> he texted me. She's fast. <laughs> oh, Patricia said no. Straight flight to PA. Oh, she's has a she's on a plane. Yeah. Dang it. Sorry, Patricia. I Patricia. know. Sorry, Patricia. I drive men mad for the love of me. Easily beaten, never free. What am I? You drive men mad for the what? For the love of me. Love of you. Easily beaten, never free. What am I? Can't be an egg. Easily beaten, never free. What am I? Money? Peace. Uh, I, I, drive, I drive men mad for the... Say it just one more time. I drive men mad for the love of me. Easily beaten, never free. What am I? You can never beat money, though. How do you beat money? I mean... Right. For the love of me. Easily what am beaten. I? But never free. And drive me mad for the love of me. That's what I thought money, but you can't. How do you beat money? Drive me mad. A couch garter? <laughs> Easily beaten. Never free. Never what am I? Free. Oh, wait, Patricia said she can bring something back. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't oh, know if she can bring girl. a thing to you. I don't know if she can bring a, a flying squirrel. squirrel back with her. I don't think they're legal in Pennsylvania. Dag on it. Would it? It wouldn't be a dog, would it? That's what I was thinking. But that's horrible to say easily beaten. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't think they would do that. I, I kind of still think it's money somehow. <laughs> what she said? What did Alma say? Can you, Scooter? Can you block Brian Clan? She's claiming she has a round butt. Oh. <laughs> 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 Brian Clan. Oh, you're right. Scooter told me Brian Clan has a flat butt. It's Alma, don't worry about it. Somebody oh, said steak. Uh, steak? Mm-hmm. For the love of steak? Lisa, I guess I'm not a good love. enough. I guess I'm not a good enough co-host for you, Scooter. Who? Why? Somebody's wondering where your uh, Heather is. Oh, really? What do you mean? Yeah. Who said it that? Said, uh, oh, the Prime Clan, it says, where is Scoot's co-host, Heather? <laughs> 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 well, all righty, Brian Clan. <laughs> You're in 
control. Oh, I don't even have my camera. Yeah. <laughs> Man, a pad is going to be after you. I'll put a whooping on you, girl. <laughs> Patricia, Fassett, I'm in she's going to open Indiana. a can of a, oh, central, kind of central Indiana. Who's going to central Indiana? She was just asking what part of Indiana I'm in. Oh, I thought somebody else was going. Does anybody yeah, else I'm, live in Indiana, Ohio, or um, Pennsylvania? Why? I'm just wondering. <laughs> so you can torture me no just in case um carolyn backs out because she doesn't want to drive with you anymore <laughs> she might sleep on it and have it you know like be like you know that's really she might be a nutcase <laughs> <laughs> She might call me and be like, Carolyn, I don't know. I, I screwed this kid the crap out of me last night. I didn't want to say anything, but I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Brian, Clay, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> How come I don't see Brian, Clay? Oh, there I see her. I thought she blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> okay i guess we'll go with money a lot of them are saying money and lisa d says love well with the love of love oh what war gold gold how is gold easily beaten easily beaten yeah i don't know easily that. beaten i don't get that scooter War? What do you mean? Somebody answered war. Oh, no. Yeah, I had thought you had me myself. The, the answer is gold? Yeah, gold. I mean, there it is, plain as day, gold. How? Okay, somebody looked that up. How? I don't get that. <laughs> Why, they did for real? And never free? Oh, well, never free because in money, right? Because it's always going to cost something. But It is stupid, Tina. How is it easily beaten? Easily beaten. Easily beaten. Never free. What am I? Easily. I drive my man for love me. Easily beaten. Beat gold. Beat gold. Beating. Easily beaten. Gold beating. I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. Unless the men are easily beaten trying to find gold, but that doesn't, I don't understand that one. I understand the never free because it costs money. Yeah. It's always going to have value. They're saying unless you're in that twilight zone when gold had no value, remember? Yeah, yeah. Mandy Hall says it's an old riddle. Really? Yeah. I don't get it, Mandy Hall. Can you explain it to everyone? Oh, Debbie, Debbie D. Gold, gold bends easily, too. It's a soft metal. metal. Oh. I don't get that. That must be what they mean. Right? I don't know. Gold that. is soft metal. It can be shaped easily. You make rings and necklaces. Gold That's is soft true. metal. Gold is malleable for making jewelry and such. About to cut a, into a watermelon. Never did last night. Who's that? Lisha Gal Galegos. Oh, good luck. I hope it's a good watermelon, Lisha. The gold is taken out of the shoulder and placed on a leather placed on a leather covered surface the gold is thin enough now that the cutter can simply blow on it to flatten it out oh wow yeah okay they're not yeah they're not talking about beating up did the brian clan know that brian didn't clan? answer it yeah she didn't answer it oh 
No, you don't, the Brian clan. Not yet, anyway. It'll happen. What? Eggs. She she has pictures of me. Yeah, she's got pictures of me. (laughs) Caroline Connor might take care. Oh, okay. I looked it up. We are four hours away from central Indiana to Frankfurt, Illinois. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, gosh. Frank, somebody said something about Frankfurt the other day. Remember that? We were talking about Frankfurt and somebody said Germany. And I'm like, no, they're not talking about yeah. Germany. Yeah. 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 Gosh, everything comes up again. Who Who is that talking? Patricia? Um. Yeah, Patricia. Hmm. Very good. Did your daughter like the college you were at? Uh, Mandy Hall says the Brian Clinton told me the answer. <laughs> Robin Swan, when I say Google, I meant Brian Clan told me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want another one or no? Sure. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. It's good. Oh, this one's got to be easy. Bring your cards. Bring your cards. Bring your cards on the ride. (laughs) Why? (laughs) Just keep reading them to her. (laughs) When you get there, she'll probably run out screaming. (laughs) Then she will put her in the car with you. (laughs) Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. She'll run out screaming. I can't take another one. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> we take her and take her cards. Yeah. Just take them both. Just ta- I don't even want to. I, I, I forget. I don't even want to go for something to eat. I just want to get away. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, this was a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, I've been saying your name wrong this whole time. And I keep forgetting that, Leisha. I always say Lisha, but she likes it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> always gets my name wrong. Even the guy on the stupid call today is like, Caroline. Oh, my God. Please, uh, uh, uh. please. Okay, this, I think I have to know this one. I think everybody will. Each morning I appear to lie at your feet. All day I will follow, no matter how fast you run. Yet I nearly perish in the midday sun. What am I? Did I get cut off? No, No, you're here. You're here. <clears throat> you might have to say it one more time. Each morning. <laughs> I'm thinking of Caroline now. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably laying in bed listening. <laughs> oh my She's probably God. saying, like, how am I going to not get in the car with her? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta come up with something. Oh my God. <laughs> I've got to call someone for a lifeline. (laughs) You'll be emailing Carolyn and saying, are you sure you don't want to go to Indiana and visit them on the river? I'll just tell them the the squirrel escaped the vet's office. They don't know how. It's not there anymore. They're going to look for it, and we'll let you know if they find it, okay? Good. Thanks so much. (laughs) So sorry. I'll look for another one as soon as I can. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Well, you don't need that. You don't need to repeat it. Everyone's saying shadow. That's what I think too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah gotta be. Yeah. Yep, your shadow. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy said a dog. <laughs> Hi, Larky. Hi, Kathy Jordan. Awesome. Sleeping Beauties. <laughs> Play I spy with her. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. Oh, 
car bingo. Play car bingo. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here, I'll do your card for you. This will be your card, but I'll mark it off for you, okay? All right. Oh, look, you got it. I'll give you that one. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Can we just have some peace and quiet in this car? Just... <laughs> Aren't you getting tired, Scooter? Why don't you rest your eyes so you look nice and fresh when you meet Carolyn? Okay? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> just lie back. The seats recline. Just take it easy. <laughs> Bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll be texting me. She'll be texting me like, I can't take it anymore. I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> can, can you call Scooter so you can keep her occupied? <laughs> oh my gosh. Please. Please. I have to put headphones on. <laughs> She keeps changing the radio. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Dave said, Can we keep her another week? <laughs> <laughs> Oh He's like, don't God. rush back. Don't rush back. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I'm working on a surprise for her. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Uh, what did Patricia say? She feels like... I'll be turning the music up. And two scooter will get, I can get louder. <laughs> the radio will be, will be blasting. <laughs> she be like, Do you have the windows open with the radio? It's okay, scooter, I can't hear you. Just relax. <laughs> two scooter will be yelling. <laughs> Yeah, you let her. Why don't you lower the radio and close the window so you can hear me? <laughs> oh, my what God. the answer to this riddle, Caroline? <laughs> That's what she'll be saying. Oh, come on. This is another riddle. Shelly got this one. What do you think about that Brian clan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> We may never see Scooter again after that drive. <laughs> She'll be like, but where's Scooter? I don't know. She started acting really weird at the last rest stop, and she never came out. I don't know. I I, I don't know where she is, and then Scooter will be calling like, what the hell? She left me here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, what's the name of your cards? Oh, I got them at Meyer. I don't know if they have that store. It's a like a Walmart kind of. So I would imagine Walmart. Could go in and pay for the Target gas. <laughs> would have them. What? <laughs> she said they'll, she'll make you go in and pay for the gas and she'll take off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're only $20 and they, they have three different sets. And they have real cute little cards, you know. It looks like a bottle of uh, medicine or something, brain elixir. Augie <laughs> well, said to take Shelly's baby along. 
<laughs> so so you could get you should be like I'm gonna take Shelly's baby so I can get in that mom and me parking those special spaces. Can you imagine <laughs> people that do that instead of the handicap sticker, right? Because some of the stores have that for mom and baby parking, right? <laughs> take Shelly's baby to park there. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Why did I ever say anything? She's probably getting all nervous now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, I think she knows better than to take all, all this too seriously. Right, yeah. yeah. I hope so. She'll probably have a lot of hairdresser stories to tell you, like loads. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does. Yeah. Like this other client of mine, you won't believe what happened to him, her. Yeah. What is Scooter drinking? She's drinking what I'm drinking. They say there's no alcohol in them, um, a negligible amount of the kombucha. Oh, they don't have Meyer, Sunflower Brown says. They will leave with your pants down, do Scooter. Don't trust them. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's talking, what I have I done, Robin Swan said. <laughs> tomorrow you'd like you, you we're gonna get like a text probably you're not gonna believe this the vet says the squirrel's gone they don't know where it is they said maybe it could have gotten out it's in the heating duct they're gonna let us know if they find it but um i'll let you know <laughs> unsubscribe <laughs> yeah <laughs> where's caroline connor well she's never back again are you getting your hair done no i just get um i think i'm blocked from her salon number <laughs> i'm just gonna drive up to the salon <laughs> oh my god <laughs> kombucha wendy it's kombucha <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Amazon has them, Sunflower Brown said. What's the price on that? Amazon? I wonder how close it is to the price you paid. Five bucks at the store. <laughs> Justin, you know what? I can fix that so bad because I hate to see anybody somewhere where something's bothering them. So I'm just going to see you to the door. Okay, Bubs? Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye, Justin. I almost got rid of him, but I got. <laughs> yeah, dang, I let him dangle there on a second. Where are the mods? <laughs> <laughs> One of them's right here. I can get it, anybody. I was I like, Sharon, I can still see. <laughs> Oh, you heard she's will be, she's going to be the the scooter. She's going to be her chauffeur. It's going to be hard from where she is in uh, Holland. <laughs> that would be cute. That would be funny. She'd have us laughing all the way there. Yeah. Where is the squirrel going? Squirrel's going to New York to me. If, if that happens anymore. <laughs> Kombucha is uh, fermented tea. She came running sideways to the kitchen with her pants down. Who did, Tina? Heather and I can come up from Tennessee, but where are we going? Amanda, we're trying to figure that out. We've got to go from Indiana to New York and meet in the middle somewhere. And New York to Indiana, meeting in the middle. Or Indiana and New York have to come together somewhere and, and do a squirrel transfer. <laughs> but maybe a scooter transfer too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, but just okay. And then I'll be like, Scooter, where did Caroline go? I I don't know. She's gone. <laughs> I guess you're going back to New York. 
hop in. <laughs> and Jimmy be like, it's fine, we'll take her back. <laughs> Dave will come pick her up in a few days. <laughs> He'll be like, what about Bill? <laughs> She'll be here. <laughs> and be like, is Scooter still there? Yeah, yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> When's she going home? Dave doesn't know when he can come pick her up yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sunflower brown sitter seven ninety nine when she googled for all of the them colors. sunflower were one package. Did they come all together? These were separate. Um, they were separate, so they're seven ninety nine yeah. a package. Do you think that's what you paid? I paid five. My cousin saw her reflection in the bathroom window and came running out through the kitchen. Oh my gosh. Tina, how old was she? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Where's a Ohio Italian lady with not an Italian lady, Ohio there isn't an Ohio Italian lady. Where the frick is she? That was her name, Ohio Italian lady. Yeah, yeah, but I wasn't thinking about her. I think about Indiana, uh, Florida, gray lady. She was up here. She you know, she, she I'd love to see you travel with her. <laughs> <laughs> You would get him there real quick. That would be hysterical. <laughs> oh my god. She was a ground she was ground. Oh my god. She was ground. Oh, they went to the premium outlets today in Illinois. Did you get anything good, Patricia? They have some nice uh outlets and malls over over there. I'd love to see it, the Florida lady. <laughs> she was supposed to go up that way for a wedding or something, wasn't she? Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see her peeling into wherever she's going to meet you. <laughs> yeah, she said, Scooter, go in and see if they have mini brands, Caroline said. And then, and then they both leave, and then they leave. <laughs> both leave. Caroline and, and Caroline and Caroline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. It's delicious, mm -hmm. Angie. You don't know what you're missing. You need a glass the way your giggle looks like cough, I assume, with alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And what if Caroline gets that, that squirrel tomorrow or something, right? And then she has it Saturday night and she's getting really attached to it and she's thinking like, I don't want to give the squirrel up. I'll just tell them it went out the window. <laughs> <laughs> right I don't know I mean I feel terrible but I got up in the morning it was gone and then she doesn't come out but like you catch her like one day you go to the salon and you're like what is, is that a squirrel is that Carolyn's squirrel <laughs> you liar <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> And she'd be like, don't tell her, Scooter. It's not that bad. I got attached, and I'll try to find another one. <laughs> Scooter would be like, I was looking forward to that trip. <laughs> She's like, yeah, me not so much, though. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Crazy. <laughs> oh man now I'm starting to feel sorry for her. <laughs> 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 
You should go in there like, I've got so much stuff for the ride. I've got games and puzzles <laughs> and trivia questions. <laughs> and car bingo. <laughs> I can't wait till we get to the hotel. Because <laughs> I, I want to get adjoining rooms. And then we can, I can come in and out. We can tell ghost stories. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Debbie said, Carol, I may now be looking at the overnight shipping. I see that. <laughs> I found a truck driver a friend. She'll be like, I found a truck driver friend of mine. You wouldn't believe this. He's going right your way. He's ending up where your sons have the restaurant. His straight shot over there. He's going to bring that squirrel right to you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're right, Sleeping Beauty. That'll probably happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> lost it, right? She thinks, like, oh my gosh, she's insane. Because <laughs> you know how you do that. Oh, yeah, Mister. right? And, you, and you, the more you try not to laugh, then you start getting all contorted. And looking like something's really wrong with you because you're trying Something not to right laugh now. so hard. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. And then that's it. Robin Swan said, and then you can jump on the beds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Because my mom never lets me, never let me do that as a kid, but we can do it in the hotel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Until they come and tell us to stop. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I've got snacks. And I've got, oh, I've got so much stuff. <laughs> Good night, Patricia. Good night, Patricia. Good night, Patricia. Oh my gosh. Old Navy, your daughter got clothes. Good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please video the road trip. I know it would be great if Caroline could put a hidden camera and just have it go shooting out live without Scooter knowing. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that would be so good. Like a live cam the entire ride. <laughs> oh gosh. I spy. <laughs> 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 Jimmy, Jimmy was telling this stupid story the other day, right? He said um, that he goes, you know, I was playing with my sisters this game, and it says, you know, I, I went upstairs to the parlor and looked out the window and saw a dead horse. And I said, my, my thing was, wait a minute. You called your living room a parlor? And I said, or was that in the game? And what does that mean you saw a dead horse? Did somebody really see a dead horse? Or was that the game? And, and Luke is going, Mom, that's the game. But all of this was to say that, like, I didn't understand this game. I still didn't. That he honestly went upstairs to the parlor, opened the window, and he had to say what he saw. And he saw an explosion, and it was a real explosion, of this factory or something that was like so far away, but I forget what kind of factory it was, and it exploded. And he said it was incredible, but I kept asking him all about I was more interested in what the hell was he talking about? The dead horse <laughs> and the parlor. Did he really call the place a parlor? <laughs> I've never heard him say anything like that. <laughs> But Luke knew. He's like, and I'm like, Luke, when have you ever played that game? I don't even get it. <laughs> I went upstairs to the parlor to play. I opened the window and I saw a dead horse. <laughs> I'm like, that's horrible. <laughs> Who the frick has that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and he's trying to say, like, why am I focusing on that? He's trying to tell me about this explosion. <laughs> Which I was like, I, I just wanted to hear about the dead horse. I didn't know if it was real or not. 
<laughs> I'm like, wait, but did you really see a dead horse? He's like, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you could do stuff like that. Well, I know this game we could play. <laughs> oh. oh my god. It's good with tags. It's good oh, Patricia, she's she's gonna meet Carolyn halfway. Yeah, we don't know where yet. We gotta find a place. Can you imagine if a whole bunch of people show up at the place? <laughs> Rambler meeting greets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna play guess who while she's driving. <laughs> or peekaboo. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Or just, or just take some just take some fake really loud calls from your family that are like really aggravated like what you know what what did you do oh my gosh like every five minutes just keep taking these crazy calls and start cursing on them and they'd be like bye okay yeah everything's fine and then just take another one she'll be like oh my gosh she's lost it what have I gotten into? And be like, oh, that was my grandma. Oh, that was my Aunt Susie. That was my, that was my Uncle Ed. <laughs> and she'll be like, crap, that's the way she talks to her, her grandma? Oh, my gosh. I can ask her five or ten minutes how much longer. <laughs> <laughs> how do you do it like this, though? How much longer do you think it's going to be? You think we're making good time? You think we're going to stay on that map quest thing? Yeah. And then if she stops somewhere, be like, G you're probably going to have to really hurry it up if we want to make that time that we're on there. You know, I hope you're going to have to make up for that. Are we still on track? <laughs> Just keep asking. <laughs> what does it say on your end? How fast are you going? Mm. Do you know how many more miles we have? <laughs> when does it say we're going to arrive? Oh my gosh. I am really feeling bad for her now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor lady. <laughs> Every few minutes go, can I just, I just want to get out and do a quick walk around the car, stretch my legs every like 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm scared of blood clots on long rides. Um, <laughs> it won't be a problem. You could just pull over anywhere. Just every 15 minutes, I'm just going to get up and go a couple of times around. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You can dodge this is crazy. <laughs> dodge <a> <laughs> <laughs> Backseat driver. <laughs> wow, do you think you should be going that fast? Are you passing that car? Oh my gosh, why can't you just stay in the one lane? Why do you have to pass everybody on the highway? This isn't safe, and we've got a baby squirrel in here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, to go oh pay I shouldn't have drank all that kombucha before we left. Can you pull over again at the next rest area? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Or ask those questions that you used to ask, like, do you know anyone that's killed anyone? Remember those questions you used to ask those crazy, creepy questions? Do you think you could kill anyone? Do you think you could kill someone? What, what would it take for you to have to kill someone? Would you just kill them over anything, or would it have to be something really, like, that was threatening your life? Or what would you do if you found out your husband had been a serial killer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm yeah, -hmm. yeah, ask her a bunch of questions like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Would you stay with your husband if you found out he was a serial killer if he treated you really nice? <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy 
Sleeping Beauty saying prayers for Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be so freaked out. Do you think you could ever kill someone and just dump their body along the side of the road and, and never look back? <laughs> Have you ever wanted to kill someone for no reason at all? Just to feel what it feels like? <laughs> just like, you should be like, I have, but I try not to act on it. <laughs> She's going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> and then she'll be like, do you ever have a weird, a weird dream that you don't know if it was a dream or real? And she'll probably be like, yeah, yeah. Has it ever been that you killed someone? <laughs> no. And, and you think, and you keep thinking that it might not have been a dream? <laughs> no. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. I have a couple of them, and I'm sure they're dreams. <laughs> they are so vivid and so real. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, could you just stay on the phone the rest of the ride with me? Because Scooter's really scaring me. <laughs> Caroline is going to bring the pins and kombucha with Xanax crushed inside. <laughs> oh Did you ever feel like you want a, squir a flying squirrel so bad you'd kill for it? <laughs> Or just act really nuts, like go, you know what? I really wanted just to meet um, Carolyn and Jimmy and the kids, but I really wanted the squirrel. So I'm going to need you to go along with me that the squirrel escaped right when we get there. That way I'll still meet them and I'll get the squirrel. <laughs> right? So you're going to say, you're, I'm going to put it in the glove box and you're just going to say it's gone, that it got out of that car. We we don't know where it is. <laughs> so what she said, she'll be like, no, we, no, really, I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you to do that, <laughs> Caroline, because <laughs> you're not going to want to upset me now, all right? <laughs> it's a long ride back with the two of us. <laughs> Don't piss me oh, off. Gosh. Don't you dare tell them it's in the glove box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> and now has a secret identity. If Scooter comes home with a black eye, we take him out with an eye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh, you guys are all so funny. Scooter. Gigi said, okay, no more permitted tea for Carolyn. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ashley have started sweating from laughing so hard. Oh my gosh. Me too. Have you? Yes. Or, or you can tell her things like you like I can trust you, right, Caroline? Yeah. Well, I hope you're gonna be okay because as Carolyn said, she's she's really not that stable as you think. She has a couple of different personalities and one of them is very, very hostile. I don't think it'll show itself, but I just wanted you to be aware because she said she was afraid. Sometimes when she gets into different situations or meets new people, it happens. And she never really killed that person. The charges were dropped. They, <laughs> they said it was actually the tree that fell on her that killed her. Not n Carolyn wasn't charged on that. I just didn't want to scare you beforehand. Um, can you tell her something like that? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh God. Just don't spook her or anything like that. And it should be fine. <laughs> oh my God. And if Jimmy has her in a straight jacket, just pretend just go with it. like that's yeah. you know her don't don't look at her sideways and say like hey, what is that cuz then that could be dangerous then cuz she can kick like a like a kangaroo <laughs> don't let that straight jacket make you feel safe <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 
Uh, have you ever known a person with rabies and then eat Mentos and Coke together? <laughs> yeah, they get that all over her team. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, look, oh, look, you know what I found out? It's fun. You can have a fun experiment with Mentos and Coke in the car. And don't worry, it'll be fine. I saw it on TikTok. I saw it on TikTok. It didn't make a mess at all because you're kind of aiming out the window. It's funny. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you guys are great. She's probably like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> don't make eye contact. Look away. Look away. <laughs> <laughs> Every so often going like this. What was that? The cops? Is that the cops? <laughs> Just keep going like that. You don't think the cops are gonna stop us, do you? <laughs> if the cops stop you, they're not gonna search my purse, are they? <laughs> yeah. Tell her crazy things like, what if you had someone's medication that wasn't exactly yours and they searched my purse? Would I be in trouble for that? <laughs> what if it wasn't medication? Um, you know, what if it was just in a baggie or something? Would you think they would say anything? Do you think they have those dog sniffers that can sniff the line through the lining of the purse? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh wear my mask in the car <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh she'd go crazy oh, is that the cops crap <laughs> should I throw my purse <laughs> oh my gosh oh I'm not going to eat bite into any apples don't worry <laughs> but, oh, what, oh the, that apple challenge is that what she's talking yes. about? That's you know, because of my tooth. Oh, the apples. <laughs> She'll be like, oh, look, apple picking. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I can't see. Oh. That would be funny. Anyway, what time is it? Oh, my gosh. How is it 6 yeah. o'clock? How is it? That's crazy. I know. Got to go. We've been keeping some late hours. All right. Um, well, thank you guys. What's today? Friday? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, all everybody right. Everybody has a like. Yeah. Thanks everybody for coming, everybody. everybody. Caroline, please um, just uh, don't act impulsively. Just <laughs> <laughs> don't make a rash decision because of Scooter. Um, we'll work it out somehow. You should, tell her, you should tell her her hair smells pretty. Talk about your skin ponchos. You should be like, that's not the first time I've made, a, made pants out of skin. <laughs> I used to make a lot of clothes out of skin, but it wasn't, it wasn't peeling skin. It was actually skin skin. <laughs> what is Jeanette doing? What happened to Jeanette? What happened? She's flipping the bird. Oh, are, is that what that is? Does she know what that is? Maybe she thinks it's a thumbs up. Maybe, because I, let me see. She, she, then she has monkeys and they're laughing. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay, Jeanette? I did that once. I hit that by yeah. accident, but I didn't post it. But then right. it kept coming up all the time, and I was so afraid I was going to post it. Yeah, I was glad when it finally went away. Oh, she's LOLing GG. Yeah, I think she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably thought it was a thumbs up. Okay. All right. <laughs> Her Monday's pillow is wet from laugh crying. Okay. Well, that's good. Good night, everybody. everybody. All right. Good night. Good night. And good night, Sandra. Good night, everybody. Good night, Nana Patty. Good night, good night. Uh, Scooter. Love, Love you guys. God bless. Prayers for all that need them, and see you tomorrow. Bye.